Yo! Hey, every guy, everybody. Hey, guys. Hello, I'm back. I'm alive. We're here. Man. Two weeks. It's been two weeks, guys. Feels so weird. <laughs> How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? How's everyone been? It's been too long. I've missed this. I've missed this, guys. I've missed this. <laughs> the waker of the wind. You gave me COVID? What? What are you talking about? Yo, imagine. Thanks for being a member for six months, dude. He's got the purple rupee. He's got the purple. Yo, Sia. Yo, Sassy. Skyler, Maxwell, Mo, Chris, Natasha, Neko, Carter, Jaden, and Elf Ruler. I'm doing good, man. Axel, Adon, Sammy, Sebastian, everybody. Yeah, it's been so long. Yeah, for those that didn't know, uh, I had COVID. So I was gone for like, well, my, my wife first got COVID like three weeks ago. And then I got COVID like a few days after that ish or like, okay, my wife, I think my wife got COVID like two and a half weeks ago or something. And then I got COVID two weeks ago ish and I'm basically recovered now. I have like, <clears throat> I have like a dry cough, but that's like about it. Yo, Chris, thanks for being a member for three months, man. I'm stronger than Rona. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, but yeah, so I've been sick for like two weeks. I do have a dry cough still, but it's like, I, I feel like I feel basically fine. Um, I like my symptoms for COVID were not that bad. Like the most, like the, the most I had was like, I had like a slight headache and I had like a sore throat and I was like coughing, but like, that was like about it. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's confirmed. I'm stronger than Rona. Coronavirus speed run. Uh, this is my first time. Uh, I did have COVID before, like, early on during the pandemic. Relatively early on. I think it was, like, a year after it all started-ish. Uh, I had it for, like, it was, like, honestly, like, similar symptoms to what, to what I had this time. I think maybe last time it was worse. But e either time, like both times, I did not have like that bad of symptoms. I just wasn't feeling up to stream though. Like I just was not at the best condition, but. Um, getting COVID is so 2020. I'm lost in the past. I'm in the past. A vaccine percent when. But yeah, usually when I like, I like never get sick, man. I like never get sick. Um, and even if I do get sick, I, I have very, like, uh, very manageable symptoms. But when, when my wife gets sick, she has a much weaker immune system than I do. Um, she got, she gets it bad. Like when she, when she got COVID, she was like, she was suffering, but I was like, I was just, I was just kind of chilling. I was like, all right, I'm, I guess this is a break for me. I mean, I was like editing a lot and stuff, but I, I obviously wasn't like streaming, but you thought you were gonna die from COVID? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I know for some people it was, uh, you know, some people had like really bad symptoms, but I usually don't. Yeah, whenever I get sick, it's it's never. I've never felt like I was gonna die ever. I think I think I get that from my dad. Like my dad has a strong immune system, and I have a strong immune system. My my mom and my brother, they're they're on the weaker side. They they get sick more often, and when they do get sick, it's a lot more severe. But for me, like, I'm just kind of chilling, honestly. Had the worst symptoms when I got it. Yeah, it's just different for everyone, I guess. Yo, well done. You got fired? Dude, sorry to hear that, man. Jeez, hope you can find a job soon. And hopefully collect the unemployment as well. Jeez, sorry to hear that, man. Good day for me to stream, I guess. But, dang man, that sucks. Wishing you the best, man. 
For real. Got COVID last Friday and I literally passed out. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I, I feel bad when like... When my wife... My wife was like really sick, so I was like, I, I feel bad. Like, I'm just like chilling here and I'm like... Kind of feels bad, man. <laughs> I'm mean, watching the Pokemon Direct tomorrow. I knew there was a Pokemon Direct coming, but I didn't know. I didn't know it was tomorrow. Um, I didn't. I wasn't planning on streaming, like watching the direct, like on stream. I'll probably like watch it off off stream and just like talk about it in the Discord or something if anything is like interesting to me. Um. But yeah, even though I was sick, like. I'm very thankful that like I have this job or well, like that, that that this is my job because if I was working a traditional job like seriously like because my my wife had to take off like a lot of use a lot of her sick days and PTO and whatever but like for me like I don't I just have like a, I technically have unlimited PTO in, in a way but I, I'm very thankful that I can actually like allow myself to rest so I was very thankful for that. And I was like reflecting on that. And I was like, dang, that's that's kind of awesome. And um, yeah, not a lot of like working class people don't don't have that opportunity, really. So I was like, wow, this is this is sick. Uh, and I was really nice. And I, I was thankful I was able to like take care of my wife, too, to some extent. Because like if I was working like a nine to five, I had to like leave home or whatever, then I I wouldn't be able to like do that. So I was like, dang, this is awesome. I'm very blessed. Um, what happened while I was sick? I mean, I was just... I was just like editing, basically. Um, like the whole time. I, I, I finished editing the randomizer video for Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, that should be out like hopefully sometime this week. Um, is it bad to be having two hours of sleep every night? Yeah, that's really bad. That's really bad. You need at least seven hours to function normally, or else something's going to be impaired for you. Uh. Burp counter? Um. <coughs> yeah, I was super glad that I could take care of myself and her. What mic do I use? I use the Shure SM57. SM57. Love this mic. Um. Oh, I thought, okay, your wife was signed into your YouTube account. You have your job, your wife lost hers. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that for your wife. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, <laughs> he's back. The burps are back. Carrot God, please. Uh, I'm feeling too warm today. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I'll get Carrot later. Yo, Pia, I don't know how to pronounce your username. Pia J Bot. Piage bot. Thank you. Thank you for the well wishes. <laughs> that one brought some leftover Rona with it. Um, Is this where they're giving away V-Bucks? No, I'm sorry. You're in the wrong place, my good sir. Yes, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. You can pronounce it like page in a book. Okay, page. Page bot. Got it. Got it. Um... But yeah, uh, oh, I got a library card. I like, I'm, after, because I think during my randomizer playthrough, I was, we were talking about like books, reading books or something. And that like, that kind of like pushed me more to like want to start reading. Uh, I have not started reading the book I checked out, um, but I did get a library card. Um, I checked out a book. It's, hold on, let me get it. It's this uh, Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. It's the the guy who wrote The Martian, which was then adapted into the very successful Hollywood blockbuster movie The Martian. Um, I heard it was good. I heard it's, it's like a science fiction kind of book. Um, I just kind of want to read 
fiction. And like, I've never, it's been so long since I've immersed myself in like a, a book, like a fictional book, a fictional book world, not like a video game world. I've, I play video games, but there's a different kind of magic to reading. Um, yo, Danica, thanks for joining the Bay fam once again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And Artemis, yeah, I saw he wrote that as well. But I saw, I saw this one was like <coughs> really well rated. So I was like, I want to read this. It looks good. And it, I was surprised it was on my, it was like in my library, local library. So first part I got from the library was Don Quixote. It took me four months straight to read. I don't, the only thing, I've never read, read Don Quixote. All I know about Don Quixote is that's the name of uh, the family uh, of Do Flamingo from One Piece. <laughs> An anime reference. I'm such a weeb. Uh, I stick to mangas and comic books. I mean, that's that's mainly what I read too. But I want I want to I wanted to start reading. I want to start reading. Um. I want some sesame chicken. Okay. Why don't you go get some then? Are library cards a universal international thing? I don't know. I don't know if... I don't know how prominent, like... Libraries are in other countries. I don't, I don't know if that's a, just an ignorant thing, but... <laughs> no, what's a library? <coughs> Glad you're being, getting to feel better. Thank you, Carter. The one piece is real. Yo, Crystal, hello. I did get your... You guys, if you, if you guys remember during the randomizer stream for the very last stream, Crystal was like, she was gonna... She gave me a $100 for wearing the carrot suit. And she... she I, I didn't like... Did I post a screenshot of it? Maybe I did in the Discord or something. But I did get the $100. So thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Easiest hundred dollars of my life. <laughs> Very much appreciated, though. How far do we get into Wind Waker? Uh, we beat the first temple. Yeah, the first temple. I used to be a librarian. It was very difficult considering we haven't even invented libraries over here yet. Um. Oh, okay, you sent it in Discord. Okay, that's right. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Dragon Roost. Yes, exactly. When am I going to play A Link Between Worlds? One day. I'll definitely play it one day. Yeah, I also added the donation link in the description. Just in case anyone wants to donate to that. Um, What else have I been doing? Uh... I need to start. I need to start reading that book. I need to start reading it. I have not started, but oh, I started. Has anyone watched the Avatar live action? Anyone watched it or at least like started it? I started watching it with my wife. We're on episode. We watched four episodes so far out of eight. That's like halfway through. Yo, Christian, thanks for the ten dollars, man. Welcome back, King. Good to see you in chat. Good to see you, Christian. Appreciate you, man. Uh, careful, that's a s steady slope to be an NPC influencer. Care costume, then mm, ice cream for a buck. Is that that one trend on TikTok where like you say like you you say like weird things for money? <laughs> <coughs> Want me to play Skyward Sword? Uh, later. I'll play it. No, but I want to. I have. I did. I have. It's good. I have. I've seen the first three episodes. Okay. I have no idea if I like it or not. Only seen the trailer. How is it? Um, okay, so these are this is my thoughts on this is my thoughts on it. Finished it, my husband and I binge, we have mixed feelings about it. Yeah, I, I have mixed feelings as well. Um It's definitely like I I I, I didn't I didn't watch the M Night Shamala uh, version of Avatar, like the first live action movie. I just know it's really bad. Um, but th this, the Netflix series, I think it's like, I'd give it like a six out of, 
maybe like a between like a five and a six i think like it's it does some things like pretty good um i think some of the casting is like actually some of the casting is actually really good um like for i think Sokka and zuko like their casting it was like i i probably like those two the most so far and probably ang um bro ang looks so young ang looks he, he really looks like a kid like like truly he looks like a child it, like it, he looks so much like a kid that like if 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 the romance thing goes on between ang and katara i'm i'm gonna like katara is like a pedophile man that, that that's how that's how young ang looks in compare in comparison he looks like an actual child but um Azula May and Tylee are weird. Yeah, I would agree. That's what when when I saw Azula May and Tylee, like me and my wife just looked at each other. We're like, mm, I don't, I don't know about this. I don't know. I don't know about that casting. But definitely, some of the casting's really good. I think the writing is like, the writing's probably the weakest part in my opinion. It's like some of it's like really cheesy. Um. Sometimes it's like, okay, but I think the writing is definitely the weakest part. In my opinion. Yeah, I know Aang is supposed to be 10, but it's just like, it's just so weird. <laughs> it's just so strange. It's strange seeing it animated versus like, in like live action. Burp gun? Um, yeah, the writing was super rushed. Oh yeah, the bending. Okay, yeah, the, the what, probably the, the biggest strength of the of the show is that the bending is actually really good. Bending is really good in the show. Um, like it looks realistic. Oh my gosh, <laughs> bro, an elf ruler <laughs> with the twenty gifted memberships, keeping this channel afloat. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Local sugar daddy does it again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dude, you need to chill, man. You need to chill. Jeez, thank you so much. We're going to hear like 20 screams. Okay, let me turn off the music so we can uh, savor the screams. But yeah, um, the bending in the show, I think is really good. CGI was done well. Uh, the environments look really good as well. Like, for all the cities and um, all the places that, that they go. I think it, it looks really good. Um, bending is good. The writing is... Eh. Um, the acting is... I'd say the acting is... It depends on the character, but I think overall it's okay. Um, I think... Given the writing of the show, there's there's not a ton they could have done with in terms of like how well it was acted out because like there's, there's only so much you can do if the writing is like not the best, I feel like. Um, but I think I think with what what script they got, I think I think the acting was like it's passable. I think I think it's decent. It's fine. Costumes are good. The costumes looked good. Costumes look good. Um. Yeah, Avatar Kyoshi looked really good. Uh, overall, I think the vibe is like... It's like, the vibe is pretty spot on, I feel like. Do they keep to the source material? Okay, so, yeah, so... There are some changes. Um, basically, okay, so the, the story in the Netflix series is... It feels very rushed, I guess, like... They just go from city to city because you know you, in the in the regular cartoon it's basically like they go to a city like where like a main like main story thing happens and then there's some in-between stuff where they they have to go through and like journey on to get to the next city and there's like some development like character development that happens in between and some some exposition whatever there's basically like none of that so it's basically just they go to a place they go to the next place they go to the next place so in that way, it feels very rushed and it, there, there isn't as much character development. 
Um, compared to the cartoon, for sure, for sure. Um, which is a sh which is a shame. Um, I think like in terms of runtime, like the cartoon and the live action are like pretty similar. So I'm like, I think they could have definitely done better in developing all the characters together. Um, but I mean, overall, <coughs> I wasn't ex I wasn't expecting something amazing. I think it definitely matched expectation. Like it, nothing about it really disappointed me because I wasn't expecting a a ton in the first place. Uh, I heard that they made Aang so serious and not running from from responsibility, and they don't do so many side adventures. Is that true? Yeah, it is true. Like there's not a lot of side adventures. That that is true. Yeah, they like mixed episodes together. Uh, I don't want to like spoil too much of it. I won't go into like specific details. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's definitely, there's not as much time to breathe and like, it's just like things just happen, like happen back to back to back, which doesn't leave as much room for character development and like making the relationships feel more believable and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, there's definitely some, there's definitely some things wrong with it. I think overall it's still enjoyable though. I think if you go into it without having high expectations i think you could you could definitely enjoy it i think that's what me and my wife did we just we didn't expect a lot and we're we're, we're enjoying it we we're, we're definitely still like nitpicking on like or like criticizing some parts of it don't get me wrong but um i think overall it's like it's still enjoyable i think it's still enjoyable uh Yo, D Diom Bayet. I'm sorry, man. I'm just this is the time that works best for me. Um. Yo, it's Penguin. Thanks for the nice comment, man. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos, man. Can you? Can I play Tears of the Kingdom while I watch? No, you have to give your undivided attention to me. That's not how this works. Okay. 6 out of 10, but we'll still watch it. Yeah, I give it like a 5 or 6 out of 10, I think. I think that's, I think that's probably fair. Um, but yeah. I think we'll get started now. Let's, let's play the game, guys. Let's play the game. Who's ready to play some Wind Waker? I'm gonna wake up the wind, baby. Okay. <coughs> Really glad you and your wife are feeling better. Thank you, yeah. I'm glad as well. Azula's my biggest complaint. I feel like they miscasted her. Yeah, Azula's not one of the best castings. Uh, I don't want to talk about it too much and like change people's opinion that haven't like even watched it yet, but yeah, I didn't like Azula that much. Uh, so far. Yo, Danica, thank you for the five memberships. Oh my gosh. Jeez. And Elf Rulu with the 20 and now the five. From Danica, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't afford 20, but here's five. Oh, that's more than enough. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Got some sugar mamas in the chat today. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My opinion is that I don't want to watch it. I think it's still worth watching. It's still enjoyable for me. Yo, MPT, what's up, man? Good morning. Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Nothing. I have nothing. I have nothing. Who gives mail nowadays, anyways? All right, we're here at the um. What is it? Hold on, wait. I need to talk to. I need to talk to Beetle. I need to hear his voice. I need to hear his voice. I gotta hear it. Oh! Oh! Bye! Alright. Yes, we're here on the... Whatever this forest island place. I forgot what it's called. Uh, I think we can go talk to like the Great Deco Tree or something. Oh! This is my first time fighting these guys in this game. Yes. Oh, this item. 
Vocal Baba Seed. The source of the evil plant's magic. Perhaps if you can find someone to cook it up, its magic can be unleashed. Cool. Yeah. 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 The forest place. Also my favorite. <coughs> Did Deku nuts return? Can I can I use these things? Um What if I throw it? Oh, I can't do anything. Okay. Never mind. Um, apparently I can like give it to someone and they can I can actually do something with it. That's what it said, burp counter. Beautiful. Smack him. Smack him. The nut master. Master of the nuts. The master of the nut. Ah! Oh, I thought I had the, the weapon. Yes. Yes. I have no idea what our next, like, dungeon is going to be. I do not remember. I don't remember if there's a dungeon in this, in this place. Oh, I'm getting sniped. Someone's sniping me. Oh! Maybe we can just shield, right? Yeah! He's a gaming. He's a gaming. Oh, he's gaming. Anything down here? Nothing here. Nothing here. How good is Windmaker? Should I play? Oh, it's a very good game. I would recommend it. But it's kind of like... Kind of hard to... Play. Oh, timer. Yes. I always forget. Thank you, guys. <coughs> Bro, it feels so weird to be streaming. No! 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 <coughs> you like Wind Waker? No, I hate it. I hate Wind Waker. I'm having such a bad time right now. So you need some cough drops? I do have cough drops. I had one earlier. Fine. Should we have a COVID cough cough counter? No, we don't need one. We don't need one. I'll be fine. I'll, I'm gonna live, guys. I'll be just fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, the music here is kind of, kind of. Kind of going hard. There we go. Oh, this. Oh, I think I didn't like this as a child. <laughs> I think it took me so... I don't know why. It probably took me a really long time as a kid to get through this. I think I was too impatient or something. Uh, my cough drop flavor. What is this? It's the... Ricola. Uh, Ricola original. See this? Ricola original. It just says Ricola original. I don't know what it tastes like. Tastes like. Uh. Like honey? I don't know. Those are so good. I do like it. It's quite good. How often do you drink tea when you have a sore throat? Um, I do drink tea. I drink like hot liquids. But I usually don't get a sore throat very often. <laughs> Game Ube. Are you playing this on the Wii U? Yes, sir. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. 
that a fairy? Or is that just like an environment thing? I can't tell. <laughs> this is the first stream I'm on, Justoon. Why don't you spell my name correctly? Why don't you spell my name right? Come on, man. <laughs> Nobody truly knows me. Hollow's Forest Potion Shop. Okay, I don't remember this. What is this? What's this? Oh, can we use the Deku Baba thingies? Uh, What does that mean? Put the seed in the little bulb thing? Is that what that means? Can I climb this? Um, I can't, I can't like get on it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what the heck this is. I don't know what this is. My exam is tomorrow. Well, you better, I want to ban you then. I want to ban you so you can go do your work. You can go study. Stop watching. You're not allowed to watch. Oh, it's a great deco tree. He's got a mole! That's kind of disgusting. <laughs> He's got a bunch of pimples. Time to pop him. Uh, can I... Can I do this? How do, how do I kill him? I can't lock onto them. Do I just have to get up somehow? Do I have any projector? Oh wait, what? What? I'm getting a hint. What are you doing, loser? Quickly, you must jolt those strange creatures off of the Deku Tree's face. You don't know how to knock them down. Oh, do I need to like? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thanks for backseating me, King of Red Lions. How does he know what's happening in here? He's he's all the way down there. He should not know. Nice. Murder. Pop all them pimples. I wonder if this that's actually been translated before. <laughs> I must apologize. I was an error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt the longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. Oh, the ancient tongue. <laughs> I didn't know you are fluent in Korakis. Three years. Three years in Korakis. I'm the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the Bodhu Speaks, who led you to this place? So it is true. They have come here because they have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason, and the, mon the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Koroks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. <laughs> oh, they're so cute, dude. The best design. This is where the design comes from. Yes. Why are you call yourself? Loser? Oh, they're loser. Yeah, the crocs. Oh, never mind. This it's not them talking. <laughs> oh, the loser. These are the crocs, the spirits of the forest. <laughs> Once upon a time, long ago, the crocs took on human forms. When they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people. But to me, they will ever be my cherished little children. <laughs> They're so cute, man. 
As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold but once every year. It's about to begin. We sacrifice the Hylian every year. You've come just in time. <laughs> I shall grant the pearl to you once the ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So, let it begin. Are you ready, my children? What? Is that what he sounds like? Ah, ha, ah, ah. ha! We are not, oh great Deku tree. Something terrible has happened. It is Makar! Makar! Makar won't start. Makar! What is the matter, Linder? You and Makar are always late. No, it's not that. Oh, great Deku tree. Makar fell into the forbidden woods. What? The forbidden woods? I told him to be careful, but still Makar flew above the forbidden woods and as he drew close to it. Foolish little Makar. <laughs> Dude, where's Makar? Makar. Makar. Loser, you have heard all this. The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hallowed island of our forest haven. In those woods, the whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they have taken child of a child. Uh, and now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It's why he brought you here. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? Uh. Herb Connor? Yo, just Josh. You didn't miss anything. I just... It's, it took me like five minutes to get here. But great Deku Tree, people cannot fly through the air. Oh, yes. Thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Loser, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children. Yet I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. He just called me fat. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. He's pooping! Oh, he did. <laughs> it's the leaf! Oh! Hmm. Forgive me, loser. That was my lunch. But could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? Nice. <laughs> You'll need magic power to use my leaf. You can find magic jars and grass clumps and vases after you defeat monsters. Let's build up your res- Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it, bro. Uh, how do we- Okay, here we go. Oh, look at them! The Forbidden Woods were once our home. They were peaceful back then. Well, guess that our home should still exist somewhere deep within the woods. If you have trouble anywhere in the forest, just look for the stump-shaped houses. You know about this flower? It's called the Baba Bud. You stand in front of it until... Yeah, to jump into it. Baba Buds have this peculiar habit of turning you up into the air after you jump into them. So you can use them to jump up there hard to reach places. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Okay. We gotta... Not miss. Oh! I'm not gonna miss. Yes. Where's the next one? Right here? Is it this? No, oh, it's not. No, my knees. <coughs> they even sound the same as in Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom. Did they make noises? They don't really, like, make noises. What if I attack him? No. They don't really make noises. you have any snack recommendations? Uh... Bro, I don't know. Doritos. For the true gamer. Oh, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep doing that until you get all the way up to the top. Be sure you're not facing the wrong direction. Don't panic. If you don't tilt in any direction, you'll land safely back in the Baba Bud. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. Uh, 
Don't listen to Sassy? Yeah, that's just, that's just good life advice. It's just good advice in general. <laughs> Boom! Boom! Dude, we're so high up right now. What is the sound? Oh, it's the it's the item, okay. Yes! Give me this magic leaf. You got the Deku leaf, set it to blah blah. Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air at objects and enemies. You can also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift on the currents of the wind. Yes! Swordsman over here! Aw, oh, I love this one. <laughs> He's so cute, man. Please, you must fly from over there to here using your Deku Leaf. I got you, man. Um... Or we jump off and then we just... There we go. The Paraglider! Yo, look at this grass right here. <laughs> Destroying all their hard work. <laughs> it's just an arrow. He's so cute! He's so cute, dude. He's so cute. <laughs> How many different high-pitched quark voices can Justin muster before he runs out? <laughs> Anxiety. I'm so anxious. Paraglider. I don't even remember what voice I gave this dude. Very good, Mr. Swordsman. You've already mastered using a Deku Leaf. But since you're so much heavier than we are, you can't fly very far, can you? How unfortunate. You're so fat, this leaf can't support you for that long. Well, anyway, this is the X that leads to the Forbidden Woods, where our brother make make Makar is being held. Makar, please take care of Makar. I started talking like Mickey at the end there. Can you make a random Quark voice have a super deep voice? <laughs> the baby, the Twilight Princess baby returns. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. That's where we need to go. The Forbidden Woods, as they say. The bagpipes. Bagpipes going hard in the background. Can I go over there? I think I can. What is that over there? Detour! Detour! Why am I so slow? Oh, because the wind is not going this way. No! Well, that's unfortunate. My knees! Oh, I'll be back. Okay, I can change the wind with the Wind Waker. And then... Glide where I want to. Oh my gosh, I gotta start all over. It's so lame. No! Alright. <laughs> it's distraction gone wrong. No! Yes, you gotta wake the wind. Wake it real good. Wake up! Wake up! All right, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Yo, fire gamer. Appreciate you dropping by, man. Have a good one. All right, here we go. You can use Deku Leaf to make the flower butt thing easier. That is true. That is true. I should probably do that. Okay, maybe we don't get distracted. Maybe we don't get distracted. Congratulations, swordsman. It appears you've finally gotten the Deku Leaf. That eerie looking island over there is home to the Forbidden Woods. M Makara is trapped somewhere within there. You have to float over to the entrance from here using your Deku Leaf. But... 
When you're flying with a Deku Leaf, you're at the mercy of the wind. If the wind can't carry you there, you'll fall into the sea before you land. If only the wind were blowing in the right direction to carry you there. Welcome to the Salty Splatoon, how tough are ya? <laughs> I don't know why I gave him like, that voice. <laughs> I just realized it started sounding like that. Um... How do I do the wind? Okay. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Yo, Danica with another five memberships. Why? Why? But thank you. Thank you. You didn't have to, but thank you. Korok sounds like baby from Twilight Princess. Girl. Sounded like Laban's from Bob's Burgers. Never seen it. I don't know who that is. How tough am I? I ate cereal today. Without any milk. Uh. Herb counter? Dang it, I never get a gift of membership. I'm sorry, man. That's just how it is sometimes, you know. Because I love the screams. I don't know whether to be like excited about that or creeped out. <laughs> All right, we made it. And then we got to ride the tornado. Nice job, Swordsman. It looks like you've already mastered using your Deku Leaf. You're a quick study. The first thing you should do is cut the grass around here to replenish your magic power. The entrance to the Forbidden Woods is on a much higher level than the entrance to our Forest Haven. In order to get up to such a high place, you'll have to catch the Swirling Updraft. Can you see the Updraft, Swordsman? The Updrafts around here move swiftly. Did I mention you need to ride the Updraft? You have to time your jump just right so that the wind will fill your Deku Leaf and carry you into the Updraft, giving you the lift you need. Once you're floating on high, just let the wind take you to the entrance to the woods. Okay. 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 Just ride the tornado. This jump made me feel like an idiot. What's wrong with this jump? Alright, we're going for it. We're going for it. Ride the tornado. Give me lift, baby. I didn't change the wind. I'm such a fool. No, I'm such a fool. I'm going to die. I'm out of the middle of the ocean. This is my worst nightmare. Ah! Oh, okay. I don't, I don't have to restart. Okay. <laughs> uh, I forgot to change the wind. This is my B. That's my B. Oh, death counter, that's right. Did I die in the- wait, what, what is this death counter from? I didn't die in this game. What is this from? What is this from? I haven't- I haven't died yet, right? I think I haven't died. I think it's zero. I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> I did not die six times in Windmaker. That, that's from something else. I don't remember what that was from. Uh... Yo, Anthony Sapinoso, thanks, man. Appreciate you. From the randomizer? Oh, uh, no, it's, yeah, it's too low for the randomizer. We definitely died much more in the randomizer. I don't know what that's from. I forgot. You need a void out counter? No, we're not doing a void out counter. Come on now. Come on now. I don't think you've died yet, but it's early in the game. I believe in you. Why are you rooting for me to die? I don't, I don't like that. Okay, here we go. Please don't hit. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. Oh! Nice. Nice. Easy P. Do I need to light these up? No. All right, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Here we are, Forbidden Woods. Okay, this is a temple. Oh, I remember those. I don't remember how to, like, attack them, but...
Dude, I'm kind of annoyed. I, I couldn't pick up the choo-choo jellies from whenever I popped all the pimples on the Great Deku Tree. I couldn't pick up the loot. It was kind of bad. I guess this makes up for it a little bit. We just love Wind Waker Choo Choo's. We just love these little snot bubbles. They do kind of look like snot, not gonna lie. Where? <laughs> that, that was me when I had COVID. <laughs> snot dripping down my nose. <laughs> yeah, that's not a, that's not a nice image. I'm sorry. Oh, what do I do with this nut? What's a guy gotta do with the nut? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what you do with the nut. Uh. Okay. <laughs> That's not very nice of you. Yo, Crystal, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Love the Wobba Fett choo choos. And the loot orbs. I like the loot orbs. What's the thing on the D pad? Uh, it's the Wind Whacker. Kill you fools. I just want this chest. Give me that. Give me that. Smack them up. After all your perception one things, you figure out what to do with the nut first try on accident. Hey, I know how to nut, man. <laughs> okay, what's in the chest? Dungeon map, nice. I know, I know my way around a nut, alright. <laughs> Give me a nut. I'm gonna make things happen. Ah! It can hurt you, too? <laughs> can I, can I attack these? No. Those little dangly things. Alright, onward! Onward! Oh, these! These little tentacle things. Um... Okay, there's a lower level here. Can I hookshot anything? I don't think I can. Nah. Oh, we just gotta get in this. Is this gonna block me? Can I... Okay, I can't even make it. Okay. Are we down here now? This is so sus. Is this where the Korok little patches in like Breath of the Wild and Tears of Kingdom come from? I didn't know that. That's kind of sick. That's kind of sick. The little patch. This game just oozes style. You're indeed correct. Yo, Janelle, how's it going? Is it going good? It's going fantastic. Actually, fantastic. I'm very happy to be streaming again, actually. Like, I know streaming sometimes, like, for me is... It can be stressful. Sometimes, but... At the end of the day, I just enjoy it. Uh, it feels good to be back. It feels good. Triple kill. Oh, there's another one of those things. I need a nut. I need a nut. Um, I'm gonna get a nut. Okay, I think we can we can burn all these little patches of what's your who's it. Um, burn it! 
Burn it all to the ground. Burn it all to the ground. Please, Link. Please. Please? What? Hello? Is this fireproof? What is going on? Why is... Why is that not catching fire? Uh... Hold up. <laughs> Let's burn this one. Okay. Hold on. Throw it? No? Why is that not lighting? What? Excuse me? Is it like just missing? I, I, I'm doing the exact same thing as before. What? <laughs> Why is it not burning? Can I burn this guy? Oh, you can. Gaming. He's gaming. Give me this. What is this? Knight's Crest. Sick. Why can't I burn this? I don't get it. Okay, anyways. Uh. Burp counter? Yo, Boko D's nuts. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Okay, this does not take us that high. I think we gotta go on this one. Yes, sir. There we go. And then, um... Okay, and then this one. Just kidding. Wait, what? Um... Hold up. Hold up. Justin is alive. I'm alive. Wait, where do... Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm missing something. I'm going the wrong way somewhere. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> How did I forget I have this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. Okay, that's what we're supposed to do. Okay, I think we can go into this one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just completely forgot. Okay. We're over here now. And we can go on that one. We go up. Okay, let me just keep going up. Can I please play Tears of the Kingdom? No! How many times do I have to say it? <laughs> no! Undivided attention only. <laughs> yeah, let me cook. I'm, I'm cooking, guys. I'm cooking. Don't worry. I know what to do. Bomb. We need the bomb. Wah. Wah. Nice. Alright, let's blow this dude up. Yes. Okay, uh, it seems like there's like more- wait, there's more stuff up there. Um, that's not where I came from, right? Up there? Oh, that's a new spot. Okay, let's- let's go in here first. Let's go in here first. How long have you been a new YouTuber? Uh, This is like a weird answer, because I, I, I- I didn't do gaming YouTube for my whole YouTube career. I would say like, I would say like two years ish, two years. Okay, we can blow that, and then we can go here. Do I just do it again. There we go. Hurry up, faster.
There it is. Anything down there? No. Just death. Just death and destruction. What's happening? I'm in the Forbidden Woods Temple. That's what's happening. Oh, I can't kill... Uh, can I blow these? Yeah, that's how you... Okay, that's how you fight them. There we go. Their weakness, getting blown. Every man's weakness. Alright! We're looking for Makar. Yes, we're looking for Makar. <laughs> awkward silence? No, it's not awkward silence. It's not awkward silence just because you say it is. It's just, it's just regular, normal silence. Nothing awkward about it. I don't know what you're talking about. COVID has fully taken out this man's brain to mouth filter. No, I'm, uh. Oh, that's like a one shot. Oh, this, this is pretty useful, honestly, for fighting. Oh, there's a little bulb there now. Good, 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 good. Another one here? Nope. Okay. So we need to kill them. How long have you been carried to dad for? For as long as I can remember. Here we go up here. We can blow on that. Okay, there's a... I think that's a chest over there. <coughs> yeah, I don't know if I ever had a filter in the first place. It's true. This is true. Can I please be a mod? No. Especially not with that ooh-woo crap. Alright? Disgusting. Not. Um, can I just like, can I just gently put it down? Yes. Okay. We just need the nut. That's all we need. We got this. This is what we gotta do for a nut, guys. What? How are you not dead? What? Wait. He can handle the nut. He's the strongest one of them all. He can handle the nut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, Natasha. I, I'm gonna have to revoke your, your mod. Your mod status. And... <laughs> no, just kidding. Don't do that ever again! You hear me? <laughs> so disappointed. So disappointed. I expected more. I said what I said. Oh, you stand by your statement. Okay. I see. I see. Well, how do you like this? I remove your moderator status. And then I give it back to you. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. I didn't mean to. <laughs> okay, you're back. <laughs> I need the help, that's why. <laughs> I'm playing around, okay? I'm playing around. Just in Korean? No, I'm black. Great, my job just got harder. 
<laughs> Why is this not taking me the right direction? Also, I didn't even get that chest. Oh, wait. Hold up. Mods are in danger. <laughs> For a few seconds, I was so blissfully free. You better not do that. You better not. You better not. Oh, what is this? Moni. Sick. She saw the light for five seconds. <laughs> what it's like to be untethered. What true freedom is like. Can we add no oo-woo to the rules? Nah, I don't really care that much. <laughs> Unless you're being... Unless you're being unironic... I mean, unless you're saying it unironically, then that then we'll have a problem. Then we have a problem. Why is it going that way? No! No, why? Okay, maybe I should not spam. Is it because I'm spamming it? What? No rule, new rule, no oo wooing. Okay, let me try this again. Was I just like messing up? How did I... Is this one stronger? I don't get it. Okay. Oh, do I need to throw it? Oh, I need to throw it when the, the thing is open. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was supposed to do. Okay. I get it. I get it. The temptation to translate the entire rules command to be fully uwu is so strong. I've made a grave mistake. I've made a grave mistake. Stay a mod, don't leave us to just, just sassy. True. Justin Hylian? I said I said I'm black. I look black. Just kidding, I'm I'm not black, okay? I'm just not black. I'm Korean! Aha! Uh -huh, protecting the nut, I see. A wise strategy. A wise strategy. Well, you didn't know I can do this! Ah -ha -ha. My brain's working today, boys! My brain's working! I know what to do! Nice. Nice. Black Korean. Uh, herb counter? Okay, so we gotta destroy that thing in the middle. Or we gotta break the tentacles, I think. That's what it looks like. That's what it seems like. Uh, we can... Do this. Oh, I think I know what... Uh, dungeon item we get in here. This makes sense now. I'm pretty sure we're getting the boomerang. The sea breeze boomerang. All right, we can't go through here. I'm Japanese and Korean myself. Oh, Japanese and Korean. How did that happen? <laughs> How did that happen? Interesting. Let's 
it's always interesting learning about like the history of um like someone's heritage have i played skyward sword on stream before no i've not i've never played it i kind of want to go down there but i don't do i need to go down there uh okay there's those things down there yeah we'll come here later we'll come here later parents in hawaii oh okay that's cool that's cool australian german indian that's a really interesting combination they came together with the power of anime and manhwa <laughs> all right <laughs> Did you ever beat the Tears of Kingdom randomizer? Yep. Uh, this, the video should be out like this week ish. Why do you keep spoiling? I'm breaking my own rule. I'm sorry. What's that sound? Oh, these things! They make me heavy. Yeah. Then we can. Yes. Die! At least I can see them this time around. Couldn't even see them in Twilight Princess. Get off me, fool. Get off me, fool. Very nice. Alright, is this a key? This looks like a key. Okay, it's 10 rupees. 10 rupees. Family came to America in the 70s. Oh, go, go. That's sick, man. Is this your first playthrough of this game? Nah. Um, it's kind of a weird hybrid. Like, I played this game when I was a kid, but I never beat it. So I, I, I played most of this game when I was a kid. But yeah, and I never got to the end. The very end. Oh, okay. Alright, we just gotta follow all the path. I'm gonna speed run it. Can I can I kill them? Nope. Okay, we're being blocked. Can I go through? Nope. <laughs> nope. Um I need a bomb. Boom! A boom boom! Is this the key? Please be the key. Or compass? What is this? Compass, okay. That is the compass. Um, we can't go to the rest of this room. I think, right? Oh, we can go this way. Okay. I can't get that. Can I blow on this? Wait. Oh, all those rupees! Give me those, yes. Okay, we can go this way. And follow this way, watch this. My guessing skills are... No! Okay, here we go. There it is. Oh, we can bomb that. Oh. Okay, I need this. No! I need to bomb it. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I want to go through it quickly, but I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Bomb! Yes! Yes! There we go. Okay, is this worth? Is this worth? It is worth. Okay, it's the key. 
Could have just used the flower to go back. You're right. You're correct. Don't expect good gameplay from me. I'll just tell you that, man. I'll just tell you that. Don't expect a good gameplay. Never expect good gameplay from me. Ooh, butterfly. And... Arts. And... And... Okay. Well, we got the small key. We definitely needed that. Get off me! Whatever, dudes. Whatever, dudes. Okay, we can go through here now. Mm. Can I get up there? I think I can, actually. What is up there? What's up here? Little patch. Oh, yes. This takes me to the beginning of the dungeon. Good. I like that. Look at this bulbous sacky thing. Beautiful. Bulbous and sacky. My two favorite things. Is it okay that I play Breath of the Wild? Bro, what did I say? Undivided attention, okay? The rules don't change around here. No exceptions. What is... Hello? <laughs> Bro. Is he getting in the way of this, the thing spinning? Is that what's happening? Maybe. Let me go. Hurry! There we go. Oh! Way to keep that viewer retention up, boss. That's how you do it. Oh, this thing! Oh! You might want to check your digestion, man. Not what should be coming out. That looks painful, too. Imagine your fecal matter is a spiky little ball. That does not sound like a good time coming out. And it's alive. <laughs> Dude, just leave me alone. Where are you? No! Can I, can I kill you? Please. Oh my gosh. Painful poo poo. It is. It would be. Uh, well, okay, what's going on in here? What are we doing in here? We can keep going up. Okay, let's just keep going up, then. No! Okay. I thought I was gonna hit the dude. Okay, there's two of those... ...things on the wall. And... Can you... Can you please? Uh, Burp counter? <laughs> hmm. 
Can I hit these? I can. Oh! Ow! Ow! Okay, we need nuts. We need two nuts. And I will not accept any less. Mm, where can I where, where can a man get a nut? What's a man gotta do to get a nut around here? Oh Mini Boss Oh this Yo! <laughs> Yo, the mini boss music is so sick. Yes, what are we doing? Uh huh, okay. I just, I just attack you? I think so. Yes? Oh, easy. Wait, what? You're free! Bring that booty here. Nice. Easy. Easy money. Ooh. A golden feather. Certain strangers... <coughs> Excuse me? A certain strangeness emanates from the quill of this beautifully shining golden feather. Winged girls... Oh, winged girls. Winged girls are said to be infatuated with these treasures. Wait, I can give this to the person at the Rito. Right? He wants to get, get something for his girlfriend. I remember that. From long ago. Like three weeks ago. Holy. Yo, Johnny. Appreciate it, man. All right. It's the boomerang. Sick. Target specific objects by holding the button you said to. Okay, yeah. Works the same. Target up to five objects at once. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's let's take this puppy for a spin. Um. Okay, let's put that there. Let's put this here. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. We know what to do. We know what to do. Can I boomerang these guys? Oh, I like cut off his hair. All right, sick. Die. Got him. Got him. Stab him. You gonna you gonna attack me? Yes? No? Boing. <laughs> Nothing is more threatening than, than seeing an enemy go boing. Fear into the hearts of many. Absolute fear. <coughs> Bree. Jeez! So many people. So many people. <laughs> Does this count as bullying? There's like 10 people that like called you- called him out. We're typing it wrong. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Good work, everybody. <laughs> I love Bree though. Like cheese? Yo, 
Yo, Casey James. Yes, we are live. I'm back, baby. I'm back, baby. And better than ever. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Hello, friend. Can I get up here? Uh, I don't think I can. Maybe? Nah. Okay, that's too high. Alright, let's go through here. Now this looks like a job to me, so everybody just follow me. Classic Eminem. Alright, I think we gotta we just destroy all these. I guess we do. Nice. Um. What does that do, though? Was I supposed to do that? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Can I, like, jump on these? Can I, like, grab it? Okay. <laughs> that's a- that's a hard no. Oh, I'm in the poopy water. How do I get out of here? Oh, here we go. Why is this water so gross? Why is it so disgusting looking? Ugh. Get out of here. Got him. How am I supposed to get across that room? Ugh. No! Get off me. Get off me. <clears throat> Maybe try again. Ah, something tells me it's not gonna work. The water needs to be wind waked. Need to wake the water. Need to be the water waker. Um, okay, let's try this again. It's like chocolate milk that's gone bad. Clumpy. Clumpy milk. That's gotta be the one of the more most vile things. In terms of like smell. Expired milk. It's just like and taste, honestly. Absolutely vile. There's nothing like checking the milk if it's expired, and it turns out to be expired. Don't you guys love that? Don't you just love sour milk? It's like how milk should taste. <coughs> Chocolate milk doesn't last long enough in my house, so I've never seen it. That's a fair point. Who doesn't like some chocolate milky? Bro, how do I get over there? What? Am I supposed to go this way? Um... Maybe I just come here later. Okay, I'll just come here later. We could we could do some stuff in the middle area. B 
Better than not checking if the milk is sour and then it's sour. True, if you've already committed to like putting your milk in like the cereal or something and it turns out that it's expired, then you lose the milk and the cereal. That's just a bad time. That's just a bad time. Okay, we're supposed to... Um, not, not that. I'm not supposed to hit that. Uh, hit these. Yes. Eh. Eh. Okay. Oh, it's too far. Okay, hold on. Whoop! Hold up. Oh, I gotta destroy all of them at once. Okay. Gotcha. Um... I get up... Wait, how do I get up again? No! Cereal hasn't been the same since I had to switch to almond or oat milk. Why'd you have to change milks, man? I always... I always have my cereal with... Real milk. Cashew milk goaded? I don't think I've ever had cashew milk, actually. I imagine cashews because they're so like... Cashews are pretty creamy in general. I feel like that wouldn't taste bad. Lactose intolerance? I, I don't know if I'm like... There, there's like a spectrum of like lactose intolerance, right? Like it's not like... Full on. For me, I think. I think I... I think it does something to me, but it's like not enough to like stop me from drinking it. I think. Yeah, I just go for it too. It is just it's just very different. It's very different. It just doesn't hit the same, you know? There we go. Okay. <laughs> nice scream, Link. I just love his scream. He has the best scream and I think I think Windmaker Link has probably the best scream out of all Zelda Links. Out of all the Links, man. Oh, this Oh. It makes like a little tornado. I see, okay, okay. We go in the flower, the bulb, and then it takes us up. I see, I see. Okay. What's in here? Switch the membership sound to Wind Waker Link? Maybe we'll have to cycle through the different screams. Um... No, the poopy water. First mate sussy? What did he say? What did he say now? <laughs> Which link is the most epic? Who's the most epic link? Who's the most epic gamer link? Um... I don't know. Oh! What the heck? Tentacles. Tentacles! How many tentacles does it take? 
to tickle an octopus. <laughs> Ten tickles. <laughs> Okay, I can't get up there yet. Uh, let's go this way. What game is this? This is, uh... Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, there's a chest here. Another one of these things we can... Destroy. Um, okay. Get this chest first. <coughs> Ten rupees. Three sixty no scope boomerang trick shot compilation. Uh, okay, we gotta bomb that over there. Hold up. Bah! Get off me. Blow it up! Nice. What are we doing in here? Okay, this is a new room. Turned 36 recently, man. I'm getting old. Well, happy belated birthday. not old. If you're like 50, you're old. Still young. That's still young. This new Five Nights at Freddy's update looks amazing. Yeah, they took a lot of inspiration from Nintendo. Oh, there's a chest in there. You gotta kill these guys. Blow them. And smack. Okay. Just, just smack them. Okay. That works too. That's fine. That's fine. You're gonna regret those words the moment you turn 30. No, I'm gonna always feel young. Never. Nothing can take my youth away. Nothing. Yeah, this chat, my chat does have a pretty wide age range. It's kind of cool. Oh, we can, uh, wait, 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 wait. Do a little. Beautiful. Uh, we can't destroy it though. Mm. You're gonna throw your back out at 29. It's almost like you were wishing for it to happen. Evil. Pure evil. I hope that doesn't happen. I hope not. <coughs> 30 is not so bad. I'm pushing forward and I'm feeling it, I think. Then again, I'm kind of a lazy slob. Yeah, I need a... I need to take care of my health better. I need to, I need to exercise. I need to exercise. The thing for me about like working out is like... I always feel like I I want to feel like I'm like ready to work out, but like that's not the best mindset for working out. You just kind of just have to do it. Like for me, I want to like optimize working out so like I um I want to make sure I'm like actually have like a nutrition plan or well, like roughly have like a nutrition plan i want to like do meal prep and stuff and that's a lot of uh prerequisites that i have to fulfill and uh 
You know, just the best choice is just to work out. That's like my mental hurdle, personally. Why isn't why why isn't this working? Hello? Am I dumb? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Got to optimize the route. Cooking skip is a key strat. <coughs> yeah, I know I should start small. Um, like I've worked out in the past, but like it always like bothers me when I don't optimize something, like when I'm like not as efficient as I could be. That always like prevents me from doing stuff. It's just like a mental block I need to get over just not even for working out, but just for in general in my life. I just need to get over it, you know? Not everything has to be perfect before I... Commit to something, you know. Dude, the poopy stinky, the poopy. Randomly decided to do some squats the other day, and my thighs still haven't forgiven me. Yeah, like I played basketball in my like apartment basketball court and my forearm was sore the next day from shooting. I was just like, what? Why am I sore from shooting? This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> yeah, I've... I'm really bad about stretching. I'm really bad about stretching. Even when I did work out, like, I just did not stretch, like, at all. Which is probably not good. Um... Why isn't this working? Like, I don't get it. Something wrong? Um... Is it moving? No, it's not. What? Is this bugged? Well, I don't get it. <laughs> Yo, Kayla. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome in. Okay, I think I need to leave. I don't know. I feel like it's bugged or something. Got sore from lifting a bunch of boxes one day, and the next day I was like an inflatable waving tube man without all the waving. You were just... You were just inflamed all over your body. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. No! My knees pop every time I squat. I think some popping is like normal. It depends. I've like asked my chiropractor before. Like, uh... Why like my, my joints pop? And like if that's bad. I don't remember exactly what they said, but... They said it's like... Some popping is like normal. It's like, it's like okay. Not a bad thing. 
Probably something like misaligned or I don't know. Squats are not my fave. Lunges and glute thrust for the win. I actually like squats. But you know what's better than squats? Some bench press, brother. Make you feel like a real man. Put some hair on your chest. Okay, I don't I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. I I can't I can't do this. I can't do this. I don't think this reach is far enough to reach that. Um Okay, let me check my map. I have not looked at my map at all, actually. I have no idea where I, I've been. Um I think we need to do some backtracking, maybe? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, why do I want to go over there? Oh, it's for the... That's right. It's for the bomb. I need the bomb. Uh, mm, mm. I faint every time I squat. Saw so YouTube short that had something to do with squatting all the way down without lifting your heels. And I wanted to know if I could. I can, so I did it a few more times to be sure. Oh yeah, brother. This would be good music for sleeping. Squat's not even in my vocabulary. Not used to Windraker without a minimap? Yeah, I got it on my screen. I got it on my gamepad, so y'all- I don't think y'all can see it, but... Is there a way to make- Y'all see it? I don't know if there is. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, why did that work? I didn't even blow on the thing. How does that make any sense? How did that even happen? Okay, I don't... I don't... What? That is so weird. Does that make any sense to anybody? Why does that work? That... Nothing... Nothing in this dungeon told me to do that. Everything told me to use these. How does that make any sense? I mean, yeah, it makes sense in like... In like, yeah, general physics. But in terms of the game and what what the game told me to do. Alright, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand. But whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, it's for a treasure chart. Okay, whatever. It's worth... I'm going to tell myself it was worth. I love inconsistency. It works in Tears of the Kingdom. The leaf is a fan zone device. Going down all the way without lifting your heel should be the norm, but when you add weight, it gets pretty hard. Yeah, I can see that. I could see that. For me, the thing about squats for me is because my, since my femur is like, uh, much longer than my, I forgot what the ratio was, but I, I saw a video explaining like, yeah, like you should squat differently based on like the ratio of your femur and like, was it your torso or something? But basically my femur is a, like a lot longer than my, uh, like my torso. So, um, it's like harder for me to do deep squats because like I basically, a lot, basically a lot of, a lot of my weight is distributed like behind me. So, um, it's better for me. Like it's more balanced for me if I squat with like my heels up. Uh, like if I put like a plate under my, my heel. 
then it like it tilts my weight more forward and so I can get like a deeper squat I need I need to do that Justin is near heavy con rear, rear heavy confirmed all right that's how I want to interpret it okay <laughs> okay wait now that I think about it I can I can do this so maybe this was another way of the game telling me that I could do that. Okay. But I didn't do this yet, so... I wasn't thinking that I could do that. Bro, those little... Those things were a red herring. Those, those, those spinny thingies. It was such a lie. <laughs> Guys, don't say I have a gat, okay? I don't... One day I'll have a gat that I can proudly show off on stream. <laughs> I will say proportionally, my butt is too big in proportion to my body. The rest of my body. Justin built like his pal world character. <laughs> what is gat? <coughs> you don't need to worry about it, my man. No need to worry about the gat. Oh, is this another mini boss? What is this? Or is it just a puzzle? <coughs> Looks like just a puzzle. We gotta just hit all these diamonds. Gotta do more gat squats. It's all for the gat. Better than having no gat. Who's your favorite sage? Too lean. Too lean. Meme. Meme. Okay. That was, that was simple. That was easy. Boss key baby. Boss key baby. Big key. Ah, this dungeon's pretty easy. Oh. No. We're fighting the enemies with the biggest gats of them all. What if I do this? Nope. Okay, what if I boomerang? Oh. Oh. Okay, bud. Okay, bud. Come here. Nice. Is he dead? He's not dead. Not yet. Die. Yes. Man, they are tanky. Give me that. Watch this. Watch this. Scrub. No! <laughs> Yo, hold up. I'm not dying here. I'm not dying here. Yes. There we go. Those guys are kind of scary. Kind of scary. I'm going to take this with me. I'm gonna fight the boss with this. <laughs> Yo, it's like three times my height. Um, excuse me? Um, um, can I boomerang these guys? Can I boomerang you? Okay, Link. Great aim. What? No. Can I do this? Uh, 
Um. Wait, where am I? How do I get out of here? I think I remember getting stuck at this part too. Oh no. Oh no, okay. There's gotta be something I'm uh, like not seeing. I'm missing something. Um, oh! There we go. Guys. Guys. Just use your brain. Just use your brain. Oh, it leads to here. Got it, got it. Okay. Easy. Easy game is easy. Easy game is easy. <coughs> Alright, now we gotta... We just go fight the boss. Where's the boss room? I haven't seen it yet. Is it in here? In here, perhaps? Oh, another room like this. Oh, two of these guys? Yeah, we'll be fine. Easy. That's it? Just one jump attack? Oh, you're free. Oh! I meant to do that. I meant to do the counter. <laughs> it's in my instinct. It's in my blood! Yeah, I'm gaming today. You can't deny the gamingness. We're breezing through this dungeon. <coughs> Joy pendant. All right. But we don't want to see that. Oh, here it is. What, what are these? Pine cones? What the heck is this? Oh, okay. Uh, I think... I think we're ready, boys. We're ready, boys and girls. Let me just... <coughs> Let me just burn this real quick. Burn this real quick. And let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Well, let's fight this boss. Look at him. Yeah. I'm coming for you, little man. <laughs> <laughs> He's so angry. What are you doing with the little man? <coughs> Leave him alone. Give him back. Okay, we got to cut off all these tentacles. And avoid those tentacles. I got it. Ah! Got them all. Don't slap me. Oh. Okay. Boom. Very nice. Um, I think they're regenning. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, they keep regenning very quickly. Oh, I gotta be quicker. No. Oh. Two left. Yes! Smack it up! What even is- th Oh, jeez! Okay. <laughs> he sucked me. Oh! Okay, this is pretty simple. Pretty simple. I think we got this. 
Easy boss is easy. Eh, eh, eh. Easy boss is easy. Okay. Back him up. Nice. Tentacle plant man. Such an epic name. Okay. That's a lot of damage. What the heck? Okay. Uh, I need a heal, dude. Um, I need a heal. What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? Um. Hold up. Hold up. Heal me. Heal me. Heal me. Heal me. Okay. Got him? Are you dead? Are you dead? Yes! Alright, easy boss. Easy boss. <laughs> I love how Link is just emoting on his the, the dead corpse of this boss. <laughs> How can you not be happy seeing this? How can you not be happy? Look how happy he is. It's an infectious happiness. <laughs> Man, that boss was very pretty though. The the blue was very pretty. Swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? You had my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on the earth was over. But why are you here, Swordsman? Great Deku Tree sent you! Oh, that's right! Today's the day of our annual ceremony! We have to sacrifice you! Oh, I'm in trouble! I shouldn't be here! I must get out of here immediately! Yes! Let's go! Come on, little man! Yes, let's go! Let's get out of here! Oh, look at him. <laughs> Why did we as a species just all like agree to co to torture the Koroks in Tears of the Kingdom? When they're so cute. <laughs> uh, why is the Korok like not moving at all? He's just stiff. <laughs> Time for the virgin sacrifice. Our annual sacrifice of a human child that satiates the great Deku Tree's bloodlust for another year. <laughs> oh, Makar, you have returned safely. <laughs> hey, why don't you suck it up? I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but still I did not listen. <laughs> Do not worry, Makar. You are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, loser. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I promised you. Please accept it. Yes, this whatever this thing is. You received Faroe's pearl, the Earth Spirit, the Deku Tree, has seen fit to give you this jewel, a treasure of the goddess Faroe. I'd rather have a Faroe Rocher. <laughs> He's so cute. We feasting on roasted Korok tonight. <laughs> It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. <clears throat> All is well, Makar. Do not cry. <clears throat> Please, play your songs for me as you always do. Oh, that's right. We must begin our ceremony soon, before the day ends. I'm trying to keep you all waiting. May the ceremony begin. Play us your song. Oh, great loser. 
As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it. Wake up! That's <laughs> <laughs> so wholesome. <laughs> Dude, they're so cute. I can't even make fun of them. That was beautiful. 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 <laughs> You're so amazed. What are they doing with those nuts, man? <laughs> why why are the nuts between the legs, huh? Why why they gotta put it there specifically? Why 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 are they doing that? Great Deku Tree, this year you have once again produced some splendid seeds! But these seeds will continue to spread new forests across the Great Sea! Let's go, Koroks, to the sea! See you all next year! <laughs> yeah, nice pun, dude. Take care! For all great swordsmen, may the winds of chance bring us together again someday! Yes, spreading their seeds across the land. It is exactly what it sounds like. He's so talented. Thank you, Lizzie, for all that you've done for me. How's my performance? Did it suit your taste or no? <coughs> That's pretty good, my little man. That's pretty good. This instrument is the one that the great Deku Tree gave me to, to me on the day of my birth. This is an instrument that people played long ago. It's taken many long hours of practice for me to be able to, play, be able to perform at the level I do now. Me and my fellow Koroks have set out on a journey to create new forests in the world. But both Hollow, who studies the making of potions, and I are always on this island. Please come to see us here again. We'll be waiting for you. Oh, that's what this is. I see. We can get some potions here. <laughs> Nutting all over the land. He definitely needs practice. The Quarks are only cute in this game, in my opinion. Nah, they're still cute in Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. They're still cute. You just like want to like mess with them, though. You have the means to torture them in those games. Swordsman, thank you so much for bringing my car back to us. I'm hollow. I make potions from the fruits of the forest. I wish I could create a potion that would help you, swordsman. But the ones I have here only seem to work on my fellow Koroks. I know. If you can somehow gain magic power, swordsman, then you will surely need a potion that can replenish it. And if I can get the right ingredients, I may be able to make a potion for you. Oh, but I haven't seen the ingredients that help recover magic power here in the forest. If I had seeds from the flower monsters in the Forbidden Woods, then maybe I can make a potion for you. Okay, we have those. Do you know about those seeds? I do. I do. Hundred Korok challenge in this game. <laughs> if only we could. There's just no Makar in Tears of Kingdom Breath of the Wild, so they instantly lose about 50% of their overall cuteness. Is, the, is Makar's model of T Korok not in those games? I thought he was. Um. The worst you could really do was drop rocks in them in Breath of the Wild. Okay, yeah, Tears of Kingdom is the best. For sure. In terms of torturing the Koroks. Are there any good Wind Waker mods besides randomizers? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo wanted us to torture them. Show the Korok the nut. I mean, I mean, see. Uh. Horseman, thank you so much for bringing my car back to us. Now that we have completed our research ceremony, I can go back to researching my potions. By the way, did you find any Boko Baba seeds? If you have any, set them to me, 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 me. Okay. We do have some of these. Um. We have 11 of them, actually. We have a lot. Hey, what does this do? 
Oh, that's that's a book of Baba Seed. That's it. That's what I need to make the kind of super plushy potion that would help you, Sergeant. I'm right, gonna use four of your seeds to create a super plushy potion. Please wait just a moment. I do have two bottles. He's sure taking his sweet old time. Onjala! Manjala! Choway! <laughs> dude, the way he walks, dude, like... <laughs> uh, I love it. <laughs> the best walk I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait, this Korok couldn't fly up there. True. Useless. Useless. Schedule needs updating. Oh, you, you right? You right? Mods? Please and thank you. My Korok don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. Is there Master Roshi on your shirt? Nah, this is a... Uh is for those that have seen Hunter Hunter. It is a uh, Netero from Hunter Hunter. It's a Uniqlo uh, Hunter Hunter shirt. I also have a another Hunter Hunter shirt. But yeah, I love this shirt. Okay. Uh huh. It's ready. Here you go. Nice, you got some blue potion. Uh, replenish both life energy and magic power. Oh, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Gonna see me again after you gather more seeds. I'll be waiting. Cool. Um, I might as well. I have... I have more. I have more. <coughs> Netero's the goat. He is. He she for sure is. And thank you, Natasha. Love Uniqlo. Yeah, I love Uniqlo. I need a Uniqlo near me. I need it. They had banger Attack on Titan shirts. I I didn't see the Attack on Titan ones. I I know like they had like a One Piece uh collaboration. I wanted to get those shirts. I think like my wife tried to get it for me and they all sold out or something, which kind of makes sense. Love Hunter Hunter. Yeah, Hunter Hunter is really good. I like it a lot. I need to read the manga. I've only watched the show. Like the most recent adaptation of it. Heard good things about Hunter Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter is really good. I, I, I really like it. Onjala manjala choe! I met Netero's son. His name is Beyond. Ain't no spoilers, man. I don't. I don't think that was in the show. I, I'm. I'm assuming that's from the manga or like after where the anime leaves leaves off on. Um. While I'm updating the schedule, where do we land on changing all the command responses to full uvu? No backseating. We're, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Stop! We're just not. Stop polluting my... Stop polluting my chat with cringe, alright? Stop it. Don't do this to me. Sounds like Justin is on board. How did you get that conclusion? <laughs> Stop. Take away your power. Finish reading my comment out loud, Justin. Do it. You know why I didn't finish it. I'm not reading all that. I only read what... What I want to read. I will not read beyond that. <coughs> oh, 
Watch a little bit of Assassination Classroom. The anime seemed pretty good. I've seen some of it. I enjoyed. I enjoyed. I didn't watch all of it. I think it's good. I didn't finish it, though. Oh, he's dancing. Oh, he's dancing. He's got something. Good morning. Letters for loser. We have one letter. Here's your letter. <laughs> Dear loser, if you're reading this letter, it can only mean you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. I'm indebted to you. I'm very sorry I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We could not do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If you get any letters or parcels for you, we'll deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside them. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I've included a gift for you with my letter in the hope that it might help you. Please accept the small token. I look forward to the day when we meet again. A fortune will your wings from Komali's father. Who the heck's Komali again? <laughs> oh, peace of heart. Oh, very nice. Sick. Okay. Um. Where are we going to next? So this place too has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? Loser, you must get the remaining pearl. It lies in a place northwest of here. You must set sail immediately. Let's go. Let's go. Um. Have you seen Dragon Ball Super? Nah. I'm not too interested in Dragon Ball anymore. It's just kind of samey now. I'm just not into it. Um, where am I going? Northwest? Yeah, okay, northwest. This way. Um, okay. No, 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 no. How do I... Okay, here we go. Oh, let me do... Let me... Let me change the direction. How far did you get in Hunter x Hunter? Um... I mean, I watched the anime. I watched all of the anime. Um... That's about it. That's about it. So however much that covers. <laughs> it's Girl Scout cookie season. Oh, Kamali's that kid. Okay, okay. I know who it is. You haven't seen the term tournament of power in Dragon Ball Super. Just like ah, eh. eh. Just not interested. Not interested. I mean, I feel like for a lot of Dragon Ball, you just predict it's like bad guy appears, Goku screams. Powers up. And then he wins. It's kind of how the narrative goes, for the most part. I just can't get hyped about Dragon Ball anymore. Like, when I was, like, a kid. It's not the same. Right, what is this? What is this? And no FNAF had boats. That's the new update, man. When you boil things down like that, sure, it seems kind of boring. I don't know, it's just cause like, if you see, if you watch Dragon Ball Z, like, I, I don't imagine that Dragon Ball Super will do that, anything drastically different than... Dragon Ball Z. I've seen Dragon Ball Z. Um... Like, I, I can... I can definitely get hype. Uh, if like cool stuff happens, but like if I don't know, sometimes it's just 
It's like hype for the sake of hype, I guess. With like no... I mean, granted, I've, I haven't seen the show, so I can't comment it on, on it like fully. But that's just, I just like how I feel like it would be. Based on how Dragon Ball Z is. It's a private island. Which could be mine. Oh, there's a Korok boy. Hey, little man. This is my favorite Korok. My favorite one. Super is pretty different from the series before it. I can look into it. I'll look into it. <coughs> Just watch a highlight reel of the battles, maybe? Nah, I don't want to spoil myself like that. I would want to experience it like... Not from just like a YouTube video. Um, okay. Hello, Swordsman. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? I've come here to plant the great Deku Tree seed. Disgusting. But look! Usually the forest trees sprout quite vigorously wherever you plant them, but for some reason this one is withered. I'd be willing to bet that the trees by fellow Korok to plant are withering as well. It seems that when one tree fails to grow from its seed, all the forest trees from that year's seed wither and fail to grow tall and mighty. What are we to do? Herb counter? If you're not able to do to nurse these trees to help, the forest will never spread and the great Deku tree will slowly wither and die. Maybe we could sprinkle the water from the forest heaven on the tree. Maybe then the sapling will be saved. If only I knew this sooner. The water is the wellspring of the great Deku tree's life force. Swordsman, can you go to the forest heaven and get some of the water that flows around the great Deku tree? You got someone sprinkling around this poor forest tree? Please, please help me! Ah, uh, I don't wanna... It's so far away. <laughs> Have you seen Berserk? I have not seen Berserk. Um, I've read the first volume, or like the first uh, deluxe edition. I, I have the first deluxe edition, like the manga. I do want to read more of it, but I don't have a lot of space. I'll be honest. And I could read Berserk like on my phone or something, but I want to read it from like, I want to buy it and read it. I feel like I want to I wanna do the art justice for Berserk, especially. Wait, I've not seen the Berserk anime. I have not. I've heard the... From what I know, the... The older one is, like, actually good, and, like, the new one, it, like, sucks. I, I think it's, there's, like, CGI in it or something. Like the newer one. Or like they did like 3D animation or something. I don't know. Have you seen the Captain Underpants movie? I have not. I did enjoy Captain Underpants in my day though when I was a kid. I loved, I loved going... Who remembers book fairs, bro? I loved going to the book fair. And, then see, and seeing the new edition of Captain Underpants. Uh, I didn't mean to cut that. <laughs> Let's talk to this dude. I've seen this guy. He, he was at a different island. Ha! Oh, one, one flying seagull. No, two, two flying seagulls. Wait, I see more seagulls. Three, four, five, now six. No, 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 seven seagulls. Eight, this man is eight seagulls. Eight seagulls. Where is he looking? Where is he looking? Where are you looking, my man? On that island? There's one seagull right there. Oh, over there. There are a bunch of seagulls over there, but... Does, does that mean anything? Huh. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, okay, let's go in this house. What is, what is in here? Let's check it out. Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you mischievous little scamp! Ahem, this cabana belongs to the master and the master alone! You grimy, trespassing little scoundrel! Away with you! Away, I say! Okay. <laughs> it's not very hospitable.
Book fairs, man. Yeah, the Scholastic book fairs. They were the best. Yeah, Captain Underfans in the book fair. I was all about Goosebumps. I read some of Goosebumps. I didn't read a lot of them. I wasn't like super into it. Yeah, the book, book fairs were awesome. <coughs> oh, Magic Treehouse. Yeah, I think Magic Treehouse was like my, fa my favorite. They had so many of them. It was so hype when you see the new Magic Treehouse at the book fair. Those were the days. Those were the days, man. I was a diary, diary of a Wimpy Kid kind of guy. Yeah, I'm basic, I know. Diary of a Wimpy Kid was like... It was after... I kind of grew up. So I wasn't really into it. Watch Death Note? Yeah, I've seen Death Note. Death Note's good. I think they still have them, book fairs. Do they still have book fairs? I mean, I wouldn't know. Uh, it's kind of weird if a grown man goes to an elementary school. But, um... Yeah, that'd be pretty hype. That's pretty hype. Um... I can't really do anything here. I'm not the master of the house. I'm not allowed in. Should I go back to the... The forest place? Should I go get... The freaking thing? Should I go get the water? Maybe I should. I have two potions, though. Ah! Oh. Fine. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. I'll go get the water. Schools probably maybe do book fairs. What a great answer. Probably maybe. <coughs> Master of the housekeeper of the inn. Yes, you are correct. We should make book fairs for adults. Would it be the same? Would it feel the same? If we had book fairs as adults. I mean... Honestly, like, it's just... Just go to Barnes & Noble. It's probably... The same. <laughs> I mean, it's not the same feeling, but like... That's basically what it would be. It would just be Barnes & Noble. A portable Barnes & Noble. No, it'll never be the same. I think it's very different when you're a kid. <coughs> Book fairs for adults sounds naughty. <laughs> well, if you say it like that... Isn't that what an anime convention is? Or manga? You could... You could be right. There are used book fairs? Ah. Just buy my books on Amazon though? Yeah, same. Same. Well, now that I got my library card, I'm like... Because with the library card, it's like connected to... Um, I think only like some libraries do this, but like you have like a... Oh my gosh, I'm going nowhere. There we go. Uh, what you call it? What you call it? Um, you can get like free ebooks. Like if I think, cause like for for my library at least, there's like limited copies of certain books, and like most of the ones that I've like wanted so far have been like checked out already. But then they have like ebook versions of all of them, and like. They have like 30 ebooks you can uh you can just check out online. Which is really nice. You just get unlimited uh, ebooks. So now that I found that out and I discovered the beauty that is the library, I'm like I don't really want to buy books again unless I really love the book and I want to like write stuff in it or something but
Local libraries will do book sales and it is the best to buy all these older books I read as a kid. Yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> Been meaning to get a library card from a local library? Yeah, it's like the first time I've done that. It's kind of sick. Kind of sick. Why did Link look like he really didn't want to drink that? <laughs> okay, I gotta get the water from the Deku tree. Um... There we go. Forest water. It loses its forest freshness after 30 minutes. Okay. So I, I can't just like have a bottle with me forever. Uh. Herb counter? Fortunately, my local libraries only usually have a lot of the books I want to read. That is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. At least not ebook versions. Mars and Noble screwed my husband. Yep. Your husband, Adan? That's your husband, right? Um. Yeah, what happened? What happened? Was there a secret room back there under the waterfall? Uh, I don't know. I could check. I wasn't really paying attention. Set alarm. Talk about library cards at 11.45 p.m. What's wrong with that? Um... No, there's not. There's no secret room behind here. It keeps pushing me back out. You can ask the libraries if they can order the book for you. Most of the time they do. Oh, that's sick. Libraries. Looking out for the common folk. How'd you know I'm married to Celeste? Uh, because y'all talked about it. <laughs> Oh, you have to hang down and swing into it for the secret room. There is a secret room. What? What the heck? How did I get this far already? King of red lines so fast. Okay, let me go back. Again. <laughs> he sprained his ankle and he neglected his pay raise. Well, that sucks. Why can't companies just treat their employees right, huh? Okay, I have to swing from the thing and then go into the room. Boycott Barnes and Noble. No! What the heck? Now, nah, you didn't even have my consent. Okay. Swing. Hold on. Can I, like... Can I extend it? Go, like, go lower? Uh... Oh, I could stop. Wait, I could stop. Can I? Oh, I can go down. Okay. There we go. Okay, secret room. Am I not? I don't think I'm low enough. Can I go lower? I can't go lower. This is the lowest I can go. 
Oh, you gotta let go into it. Okay. Oh! There is something here. What? What is this? What is this? Uh... Is there something special about this? There's like nothing in here. There's literally nothing in here. Um, 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 is it just like so I can get like the water or something? Like, what is the point of this? This is the shrine of resurrection. It's a secret base, like from Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Okay, this is pointless. It was kind of cool, I guess. It's kind of neat. All right, finally, let's let's go back to the dumb island and help this dumb Korok. Wait, that was it? I mean, I I feel like I don't I don't know. I'm sure uh, maybe I missed something in there. I don't know. Either way, we can we can go back later. Nobody tell him how to actually use that room. Hey, don't tell me. From an empty room, how utterly baffling. We'll go back later. Probably. Secret tunnel. Just gotta hear what's happening. Uh, I finished the what was it called? The Forbidden Woods dungeon, and we're heading. I think there's an island right here. There's a there's a Korok. I'm trying to I'm trying to nourish the seed of the great Deku tree. Trying to nourish his seed real quick. <laughs> Can't remember what the secret is for. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out later, I suppose. Okay. It's still fresh. Let me water this. Live! Live! Yes! He's got a little face. Kinda creepy. Thank you very much, Swordsman. You must find seven more of my fellow Koroks. If you pour the forest water on all of our trees, the trees will surely grow strong again. I remember in just 2302, the force water you have will turn into plain water, so hurry up and look for my fellow Koroks. Oh wait, I gotta do it like all at once? Is that- I thought it was just like you do it and then you can like continue on later. Do I have to do it all at once? What? Okay, that was a waste of time. <laughs> That's unfortunate. That's what it sounds like. Well, I will do this later then. I'll do it later. Korok incubation period. It's alive! <coughs> Someone look at the gestation period of a Korok. <laughs> 
Alright, Natasha, thanks for watching. Thank you. And don't you dare ooh ooh ever in my chat again. <laughs> Stop. Disgusting. Get out of here. Subnautica or Undertale? When? Uh, sometime in the future. Sometime this year, I promise. It'll happen. It'll happen. No! Hold up. Hold up. Give me this. Give me this treasure. Give me this treasure. How do I... Here we go. Give it to me. Yes! Money. I've maxed out my wallet already. Forgot how pretty this game is. Yeah, this game is beautiful. Wind Waker holds up phenomenally in the modern era. Have I been here? Did I go inside here? Hmm. Mm. Oh dear Neptune, why? When will you stream Raft? What is Raft? Oh, hey bud. Um, oh, there's a chest over there. I think this is probably a heart container. If I were to... If I were a betting man. Which I'm most definitely not. Okay. Boomerang? Okay. Hold on. Get him? Come here. Give me that. No! Ugh! 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 Get off me! There's another! There's another fatty! Come here, fatty. Uh. Dude, his range is insane! <laughs> Dude, I loved her posture. <laughs> Why are they always sticking out? Why are there more? How many? Hold up. Let me take this. Give me that real quick. Oh! No! Why are there so many enemies? Come here. Please die. Is it over? Okay, thank God. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, I love their posture. <laughs> I love their posture. They're sticking out the gat. Um. Have you seen the Infinite Craft bingo vids lately? I'd like to see you do one. Uh, I have... I haven't watched, like, a full video. I've, I've, I've watched a video enough to, like, understand the concept of it. Maybe I'll do it. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what I would want to make, though. Carrot? <laughs> Piece of heart. Beautiful. 
Yes, we have six six hearts now. Sick. Sounded like a fireworks display in my spine just now. You good, man? Carrot has to be on the bingo. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Maybe. Perhaps. Can you stream Ocarina of Time? I've already played it. I played it on the channel. I have a video on my channel if you want to watch it. I made Super Hippie Unicorn Hitler as a first discovery at Infinite Craft. Can't you, like, make basically anything? Uh. Burp counter? What in the world is this? Oh! Um... I don't want to fight that. What is this place? Hold up. Hold up, let me just... Boom. Bomb. Let me just bomb, bomb, bomb real quick. Um... Take me this way. <coughs> I wanna go to this little island, whatever this is. What is this? There's a bunch of treasure over here. I like treasure. I want the treasure. I want the treasure. Yes. Yes. <coughs> okay, it's just money. Um, yeah, let's just... Let's just go in. I don't think I want to get these treasures. I feel like it's just money. What is in here? Man, this is why I love this game. There's just so much mystery. How do you get in here? What? <gasps> There's a ship! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. All done. Boom. Bum. Bum. Boom. Bum. Run, Link, run. Run! Get in there. Go. Oh. What's in here? What's going on? Um... What? There's like nothing here. There's nothing here. Ah! Gamer. Gamer! Can I get up on top of this? Hold on. Ugh! 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 Can I get on here? No? What? Can I get on here? Yes? Yes? <gasps> we can! Hey, what is here? What is this? Kung Fu Panda 4. Uh... That looks pretty good. I do like Kung Fu Panda a lot. One of the few animated movies that has that's had multiple sequels that have all been like pretty good. Um I'm not much of a movie guy though. I'm not much of a movie guy. I just watch a lot of anime with my wife. In the original version of Wind Waker, the enemies would knock you out of the boat every time. I remember that. 
Yeah, that was infuriating as a child. Is this worth? Is there anything here? What am I even doing here? <laughs> There's just a bunch of dead, dead people. There's something in the middle, maybe? I don't see anything. Um, there's like nothing here. There's like nothing here. <laughs> okay, we're getting out. We're skedaddling. Dune 2. I like Dune. Um, it was enjoyable when I watched the first one. Oh. I don't know if I'd watch Dune 2, though. Every everyone that I watched it with the first time were, were, was just like, eh. They're just eh about it. I was like probably one of the only ones that like enjoyed it. With the people I watched it with. So I'm like, I don't know if I would watch it again. Watch the second one. You watch Demon Slayer? Uh, yeah, I've seen, I've seen Demon Slayer. I'm, I'm caught up on Demon Slayer. It is very mid. Dude, these things are relentless. Holy. Don't mind me. Just gonna check this out. Need to reread the Dune series? Yeah, I've not I've not read any of the Dune series. I heard good things though. I got it! I can do it! I'm just a 10 year old child attacking a bunch of goblins. I got this. They're not even putting up a fight. <laughs> At least defend yourself. Okay, there we go. There we go. Good job, man. <laughs> Good work, my man. <laughs> You see the Dune 2 popcorn bucket? No, I've not. You got a golden feather. Keep it in your spoils bag. Okay, I got another one. Oh, that's right. I need to give one of these to the... The Rito guy. I need to do that. Um, 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 go, 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 go. I think that's the island I need to go to right over there. Yeah, Ipo is awesome. I love Ipo. I'm debating whether or not I should read the manga. Because, uh... Yeah, the anime is, like, pretty... Far behind. And, like, a lot of stuff has happened in the manga. It's like an ongoing series, too, which is crazy. <clears throat> What is this island? I don't remember this at all. What is this place? Please don't be rupees. Please be something else. Baki is crazy. I've been meaning to watch Baki as well. It's more rupees! Love it! Oh, we're here. Look, loser, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Where and what is this place? Great Fish Isle. I actually don't remember this at all. Well, what is the meaning of this? The island, it is. We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I suspect never suspected how little. 
A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oh, he loser! Oh, it's the Rito guy. What's up, dude? What's up, man? So you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? Jabun? I'm sorry to report to you that Jabun can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not. Jabun was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born. On outset. Dun dun dun! What? <laughs> like, why, why are you angry, man? Why is he so angry? <laughs> When I hear Baki, all I think about is the clip where two guys are biting into each other's mouths in a fight. Is that just a manly way of saying they were making out with each other? <laughs> I hear I hear Baki has some crazy stuff that happens in it, so I'm not surprised. Um, I need I need I need to watch that show, man. I need to watch it. BTS came with the bows only. Maybe. <laughs> Jabon. Odd face, yeah. Why is Link always angry? He always has an angry face on. And even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jabun. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, loser. <coughs> I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told him this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hope to get, but they immediately set sail for Outside Island and try to break into the cave. It is lucky they, they cannot gain entrance. Are they, the pirates they're talking about, is that Tetra and all of them? I guess it is. I've heard they were, that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish, you wish to see Jabun, I think you better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas. But this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Valu must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jabun to you. He called this island cursed. Hmm. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I've told you of Jabun, so my task is complete. Yeah, I don't remember any of this. I don't remember any of this, man. This is all new to me. So Jabun has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If you were to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jabu Jabon excuse me, hides. Why don't we first go to Windfall and search for them there? Alright. We gotta go to Wind- where's Windfall again? Uh... Okay, it's North... East to northeast. <coughs> Jabon. Jabon. Oh my gosh, this music. It's a scary version. The great sea music. Ooh. I wish someone would bring word of Jabun to me. <laughs> Tell me about Jabuns. Bring Jabuns here. <coughs> this music's so scary. Would you guys recommend Baki? I've just heard that it's like an insane show. <gasps> it's a shark! Um.
Okay, this is a... Oh, jeez. Why is there so many things happening here? In this part of the sea. Why is this tornado chasing me? I can hear pieces of Ganon's theme. Kind of makes sense. Oh! I can't even fight this dude. I just gotta dodge him. I'm helpless. Gantz. What is Gantz? I've heard of Gantz, but I don't know like anything about it. Gantz. Here's the kingdom, but legendary weapons only. Hey man, you can, uh, all the suggestions for like challenge runs, you can put it in the Discord. I have a channel for that. Enemy was brutal. I couldn't watch it a second time. That bad, huh? That bad, huh? These sharks are giving me muck to rock flashbacks. Yeah, they kind of look similar. Not gonna lie. A crane to the skull would do some damage. You're not wrong. Can he handle the crane with such finesse, though? Herb counter? Jeez, that shark was... Oh, we're here. Uh, their ship is here. It's just as the postman told us. The pirate ship that has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jabun's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Loser, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to. Without them finding out about you. Ah. Okay, I actually remember this part. Oh, I have mail. You got mail. You got mail. Especially the ending. It's pretty rough. Highly recommend it if you want to be scared by anime. Alright, I'm down. I'm down. What does backseating mean? Telling me how to play the game. Have you played Undertale? Nope, I have not. I will play it on the channel, though. Don't you worry. Good evening! Letters for Loser, we have one letter. Here's your letter. <laughs> if you wish to, be, wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crest and return- Oh, it's Orca. Find some knight's crest and return to me. Here's some money. Nice. I need to, like... I need to use this money, man. What is this sign? <laughs> Some great advertisement. What is in here? <laughs> oh, scarred. As in scars that won't heal, okay. I'd be down. Oh, hey, man. Is that a bottle? Can I have the bottle? Hello, hello, hello. You are standing in the one and only two jelly goose shop. You must have heard that potions are the best. I'm telling you, they're too good. In fact, they're absolutely incredible. What's that? What's true jelly, you ask? You think some are bewildered? Oh, sir, you simply must be joking. You don't know what true jelly is? Or well, just ask yourself this good, sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words true jelly roar out in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why is the key ingredient in the most effective potions around? All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir, do you have an empty bottle? Uh, do I? I don't, but... Can I just, like, dump this? I don't want this water. I don't want it! Go to the gamble area? I have not played some Nautica yet.
When a male doctor starts dancing like that, it's time to start drinking water. Bluey is the goriest anime ever made. What is it? Everyone loves Bluey, bro. Well, okay. It's gonna be. It's like five more minutes left until I lose this water, so. I'll just keep it for now. Let's go somewhere else. Look at all these. What if I break it? <laughs> you little weasel! Oh, it's this guy's house. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming into my home and breaking my high-priced vases. If you break any more, I assure you that I shall not let it go lightly. No, sir, not at all. I shall require compensation. He's not doing anything. He's a liar. I'm gonna break them all I want. Dear me, but there's a terrible storm raging this evening. This night seems very unsettled somehow. Dude, no backbone. What are you talking about? I can just break all of them. <laughs> a thrilling night of money and desire. This way to the auction house. I remember there was something like that. I don't, I don't think I ever did the auction when I was a kid. I don't think I ever did this. Windfall auction tonight. Bidding starts at dusk. All comers welcome. Oh, wait just one moment. Oh. <laughs> wait, how much do I have to pay? <laughs> do you think you can just break someone's face and leave without paying for them? I must chortle at your naivet. Ho oh, oh. ho. This happened to be extremely high-class bone china vases that run a minimum of 10 rupees each. Okay. 10 rupees, that's it? <laughs> Let me see. That comes to a total of 70 rupees. Okay, whatever, man. These rupees were burning a hole in my pocket anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just runs out. Could have sworn it was way more than 10 rupees. Did they uh, change it for the Wii U version? I have no idea. Yeah, it definitely doesn't seem like a lot. Alright. Um, if I remember correctly, the pirates are in here, right? I think they were. We're closed today, so scram now. I have a feeling they were here. <laughs> Slide to the left. Slide to the right. They could see they're more expensive. I mean, Bluey is still really popular and like, uh, it's a pretty global show. Like, basically every parent that I, that I know, like, uh, like young parent, like in my church, like they, they, they make their kids watch Bluey. It's like really popular. Yeah, it's super popular, like globally. Oh, they are in here. Yo, they wrapped up this dude. Wait, they're just robbing him. <laughs> Wait, who's talking right now? Look, don't be mad at us. Is, is, is it the Kronk guy? It's a Kronk. Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bobs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as a payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? Or 
Or is it the, guy, the other guy with the broken glasses? I have no idea. I'm just gonna talk like Kronk. <laughs> so I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask Pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. But who's Gonzo? Is that Kronk? Is Gonzo Kronk? Okay, it's definitely not... Definitely... I think I'm doing the wrong voice. Okay, yeah, it's definitely... It's, it's the little dude. I don't know what voice I gave this dude. Um... <coughs> Gonzo is glasses man? I know it's not. I just looked him up. It says Gonzo is... Yeah, no, Gonzo, Gonzo's the big dude. Gonzo's big guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing the wrong voice, okay. Uh, I, for I forgot what voice I gave this little man. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get the information out of the postman. Huh? Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was smooth. I tell you, the minute I shut my eyes on that loser, I just knew he was hiding something back at the outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit. Such cunning! You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra smarts, if you still got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest part to ever sail the sea. Yep, the greatest! Uh, you idiot! Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. <laughs> Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done leading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately. It's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grow up tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I- was what I mean to say. And I mentioned I'm a big simp. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah. I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So, what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Just for a night of fun. Gonzo's nose looks like he's been suffering with seasonal allergies, poor guy. Tetra is still a kid. Is this true? <laughs> this is true, this is true. Tetra is legendary and timeless. Therefore, it's okay. <laughs> You're all fools, do you know that? You saw the demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry out onto Outset, or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about the island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ri ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. Huh? <laughs> He's trying to be all sneaky. He gets caught like in five seconds. <laughs> Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. We're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in, understood? Aye, aye. Weez. Take care, brother. We'll show these pastures again. Fuck, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is Barnacle, yeah? Remember? Because we're pirates. Barnacle. You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. 
is real picky about it. So I'll say it once more. Today's password is Barnacle, yeah. Barnacle? Barnacles. Barnacles. Yeah. <laughs> all these bombs. Oh! A lot of money. I don't need it though. The sideways are me in high school. Uh, okay. Well, now, <laughs> now the bomb salesman knows the password. True. Can I like help him or nah? Okay. <laughs> we can't help him. Okay. Broccoli. All right, where are they now? Um, did they go back on their ship or? There's a chest over there. Uh, I don't know how to get that. Barnacles. He's trying to overcharge you earlier. Leave him. This is true. This is very true. Uh, do I go on the ship? Let's see. Let's check it out. The ship's only tooth is a... A barnacle! A bar... What? No, no, I was completely wrong. Now scram, non-pirate. What? I thought it was... Is this the, like the wrong place to use this password? Is it capital B? That's dumb! It was capital B! Alright. <laughs> right, right, you may enter. Okay, nice. <laughs> that specific A. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Look at this! <gasps> A hint! The Triforce! What does it mean? And she's got a picture... I didn't notice all these details in te just Tetra's room, right? She's got a picture of the, the ancient hero, the legendary hero. She's got this... Triforce thing. Like, map. Interesting. And who's this? Who's that girl? Um, what is this? There's another picture here. Looks like, um, one of the pictures from, like, the beginning cutscene. Like, similar to this. Interesting. That's cool. Gonzo did say he's very particular. True. <laughs> I could hear you didn't capitalize that B. <laughs> Yo, Danica, thanks for watching. Also, thanks for the gifted memberships. Really appreciate that. Have a good one. Oh, I lost my, uh... The... Deku Trees water thingy. Okay. That's good. Hey! I'm back! Oh, loser! My old swabby loser! So you're alive! Oh, the other pirates said you got done by in by the bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought... Never mind what I thought. You're alive! <coughs> oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder. Which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. 
All right, why don't we send you to your next test? Uh, this one is harder than the last. Good luck. You'll need it, Schwabby. You see there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Uh, well, last time when you pressed the switch, platforms was up for you to jump onto, right? Well, yeah, this time there aren't any. Which means you have to jump from one rope to the next one. Pretty tough. Easy. Easy. And that's not all. This time I put a gate on this door, too. Switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time and you have to try it again, little Schwabby. Gotcha. Gotcha. The switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. Uh, if you get all the way to the side before time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Oh, we can get bombs. We got bombs this way. Yo, sick. Okay. I got you. I got you. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be free. Whoop. Whoop. <gasps> uh, can I grab this? Ah. Uh, okay. So if you mess up, is you're done. You're done for good. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's not far enough. What? Okay. Um, can I still make this? Hold on. Hold on. Eh. Eh. Oh. Hurry. Okay. I thought I didn't grab it. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I give you a lot of time. Jeez. Why, you've got to be... You did it already? You're, you're incredible. This isn't good. Never even passed this test. I can do it so quickly. Make it look so easy. <laughs> if I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. You're the best Schwabby of all time. So I, I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious, okay, okay. He's a bad crew member. <laughs> He's a terrible crew member. Well, we got the bams. You got bombs. You can carry up to 30. Yes, yeah, so we can finally attack while we're on our boat now. Ooh! It's mighty courageous of you, trying to steal treasure from pirates. I know what you're doing. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give things such much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. <laughs> That's so mean. Let's just so mean. Like he's just letting that man lose his job. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh no. <laughs> no one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jabun's treasure too. Right now, Jabun is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you've managed to find Jabun tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Oh, she gives us a chance, though. Wow, awesome. You have a stone just like the one that Miss Tetra has. And how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky. 
Uh, why is everyone simping for Tetra, man? <laughs> I always look forward to Bay's voice acting. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> He's definitely gonna cry in bed tonight. <coughs> All right. Um. Now we just leave. Can we find the crew members? I want to like see what they're doing. What are, what are they doing? No, what? Where are they at? Oh, you got mail. You got mail. Yes. Good evening, letters for loser. Yes. <laughs> Notice from Beetle Shop Ship. It's time for a semi annual big chance extravaganza. We have a new product that has burst onto the scene and bombs. We're having an extra special sale on this choice item for a limited time only. No, 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 okay. Okay. Hi! Oh, Beetle's chart. Now you know where to find Beetle's floating shop ships. Oh, cool. I didn't know about that. <laughs> it is weird, the, the thing with Japanese culture, like... How, like... It's a lot of, uh... Well... Is it just a, a Japanese thing? I mean... Young, like, like, children are weirdly sexualized in a lot of media in the world. Which is... Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just weird. I don't know why that's so normal. Don't breathe on me, you dang mailbox from hell. <laughs> yeah, it's gross anywhere it happens. Yeah. It's just weird, like... I mean, I, I honestly, since the beginning of time, this has been a thing. Honestly. What is this? Place a decorative object here with... Okay, sincere good wishes will soon cover the town in pure joy. The joyous volunteer association. What is this? Joyous? Like what? Like... What about this butterfly? No? Okay. I don't know what this is, but okay. Wait, what is this? Message in a bottle. Oh. <laughs> this is for Meverse. I was like, what the heck is this? Okay, that's irrelevant. Okay. Oh, uh, this is the pictograph guy, I think. I think this is that guy. This is that guy. Um... When characters simp on Tetra, it's gross. When players simp on Tetra, we are simping on Miyamoto the Creator. The allure of the forbidden or un unattainable. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. I can see that. It's them anime tropes. It is an anime trope, but it's like... I mean, it's not like exclusive to like a... Eastern thing, like it's... It's pretty common in like... The West, too. I'm, seems like it. <laughs> You've got mail. It's a weird message to put in a bottle, yeah. Just imagine some guy stranded on a beach somewhere writing that one piece of paper and bottling it. <laughs> it's all over. Meverse is gone. Why, young sir? I must say, you seem to be in possession of a very fine picto box there. Are you a lover of pictographs as well? There can be no villains among the ranks of Pictobox lovers. Take your time, look around, I implore you. While you're here, please do visit my upstairs pictograph gallery. You're bound to find it quite exciting, young sir. I guarantee it. He has a bunch of pictures of Tetra up here. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, Herb counter? 
It's like a bunch of places around the world, it looks like. <laughs> We've been trying to reach you by your ship's extended warranty. What anime tropes do I hate? There's so many. Yeah, there's just a lot. There's a lot. I can't think of that off the top of my head, but every time I watch an anime, I, I notice. It's definitely one of them, just like... Over-sexualization in anime. It's it's very rampant. Very rampant. Um... Oh ho ho ho, aren't these some finely snapped pictographs? You must admit it. Well, come now, you needn't be so surprised, my young sir. It's a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. <laughs> Okay, maybe, maybe you just don't describe it like that. Maybe you don't describe it like that exactly. <laughs> maybe just, so you can, you can word that a little bit differently, man. <laughs> by the way, the pictographs you see decorating these fine hot walls have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. You see, in my younger days, I was tireless. Sailing far and wide across the great sea, stabbing pictographs wherever I went. Have a look at them, young sir. I will take a look. I will take a look. Anime tropes you like? Um, is there an anime trope I like? I need, I need, I need like a list. I need a list of anime tropes. I, I need to like, I, just, I need something visual. Not a fan of the romanticization of yandere behavior. True. <laughs> Speaking of perps. What is this a pictograph of, you ask? I think we all know. Okay, yeah, they're, they're true trees. Yes, I know. Um, why there's even said to be an extremely rare species of them known as a blue true true. That's... That's actually true. I have not seen a blue true true yet. Weirdly enough. Even though, the, the, like, the blue choo are so common in, like, um... In, like, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Hmm. Okay. Is it too boring to say street photographer or candid photographer? I guess so. You need to describe it. In a very creepy way. <coughs> oh, there's a... There's two chests in there. What? How do you get that? Wait, this is my this is my this is my place. Picture of an island once visited. This is a finely snapshot I took it in my younger days. It's outside island. That's where I was born. It's the most delightful of fishing villages. Innocent and rich with beauty. It was there I met a beautiful young lass. Well, I suppose she's probably not as young as she used to be these days. The passage of time. Wait, what the? Is that a little cubby? There's a little cubby up there. Huh. Curiouser and curiouser. And the background disappears and it's just streaking colors across the screen. When like, when like a crazy attack is happening, when it's like super hype. Is that what you're talking about? I love overpowered main characters and I do not know why. Okay, I've, uh, yeah. Overpowered main characters, that's, that's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Like One Punch Man. Um. I don't watch anime. Yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, every anime... Not every anime, I won't say every anime, but like... 90% of anime has some level of fan service, for sure. Oh, this is where I just was, okay. Like the trope of the ha hard man, stoic man going soft for a pet or a lady or food. That's true, I, I do like that one, that's a good one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about? Okay. <laughs> it is hype. Okay. 
When, when the animation go crazy, it is very hype. Very, very hype. <laughs> yeah, I love Saitama. He's such a funny dude. Such a funny dude. Yeah, sex sells for sure. That is, that is a it's a timeless truth. Like eating so fast you can't see their hands move. <laughs> Who are you looking at, man? I just saw some strangers here in town. They went over toward the bomb shop. Why would they be going there? Oh, okay. That's like a hint. It's a hint that the pirates are there. Um. Where did the pirates go? There's like nowhere to eat here. They said they were going to eat or whatever. There's no food here. Okay, let's just leave. Let's just get out of here. We got to beat them to Outside Island. Let's go. Well done. Our preparations are complete. What the girl says is true. Then the pirates won't be leaving until morning. You must meet with Jabon and get the pearl for him from him before they arrive. Let's delay no longer, loser. I'm on it. Okay. Outset Island is... Where is Outset Island? Jeez, it's all the way to the south. Southwest. Okay. That's a go! A uh, sploosh kaboom, man. Yo, Albert. Appreciate that, dude. Welcome to your first live stream. <coughs> Hope you're having a good day. There is a certain shop. A certain shop. They told Nico they were eating and stuff just to get away from him. <laughs> that checks out. Wake them winds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go wake them winds. Hey, what other anime tropes are there? Uh, let me think. Definitely don't like the over-sexualization. I hate that. Um... What else? There is a trope of like, I don't know if this is a, I don't I don't know if this is a trope of anime, but yo see dot com. Hope you're enjoying Wind Waker. I am. I've actually already played it before, but I've never beaten it. Is that Tingles Tower? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta check this out. I gotta check this out. I gotta check this out. Hold up. <coughs> like each each level of this like totem pole tower is like a different enemy. Who's this? Who's this little fairy guy? Yes, it's his like brothers here. Your tingle senses are tingling. Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play. Next time, bring me one of my favorites, a chart I haven't seen yet. Please, sorry, just bring me one, please. Goodbye, Mr. Fairy. Please come visit me here at Tingle Tower again, where wonderful fairy magic makes the place spin and spin. <laughs> I remember in one of my Tears of the Kingdom streams, um, someone said, like, like, Tingle basically like, enslaved his brothers or something. Like, there's like some kind of theory. That he was just like forcing his brothers to do this work. I mean, it seems plausible. Um, you have a Tingle bottle, do you not? Uh, 
Oh, if you're not really a fan of it, do not worry about such things. A tingle bottle, it's sort of complicated, I suppose. No, do not go out of your way. No, really. I mean, it's quite amusing, a tingle bottle. I mean, but not really. I would not expect you to... Eve ho. <laughs> Well, it seems like he doesn't really like what he's doing. He don't... I don't think he wants to be here. Heave-ho. Oh, this is heavy. It's just between you and me. This guy's another brother. If that guy could just come spin this thing instead of me. Heave-ho. This guy? Wow. Why is he, like, referring to him like they're not, like, related? Why is he saying it like that? Like, this guy. Why is he referring to him like this guy? That's not how you refer to your brother. Okay, I, I, can, I can stand behind it that like, that Tingle is actually a, a slave driver. I can stand behind that, that theory. That seems to make sense to me. Tingle was so sus. The one in white looks like a young George Takei. D don't they all look the same? What do you mean he... What do you mean he looks like a young George Takei? Aren't they like all... Didn't all the Tingles look similar? <coughs> or is it like just the outfit or something? The one in white has some, uh... Some lore that is interesting. Okay. I will discover the lore. Wow, JKB Tingle racism. <laughs> I'ma say it. All people of the Tingle family look the same. <laughs> Hot take. That one had a different face? Okay, next time I come here, I need to I need to check their faces again. They look the very- they look like the same to me. <laughs> Those people, I tell ya. <coughs> I'm still like- I'm still trying to think of, uh, anime tropes. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. 15 common anime tropes you see everywhere. Wait, what is this island? Hold on. We need to see what this island is. It looks... inaccessible. Um... Hold on. Oh my gosh, the frame rate. <laughs> it's so bad. Where was the fish? I saw the fish. He's over there! Hold on. Let me talk to the fish, dude. Fish man! No! No! Um, how do I fight you? Uh, how do I do the bombs again? Uh... Uh... Die! Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, fishy boy. Um... Where's my bait? Look at the way I threw that bait. Oh, he's a master baiter. He's a master baiter. Um... Is winning with the power of friendship a trope? That is a trope. That is a trope for sure. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> the trope where the main character says their name... Their main goal every episode. That's pretty common. That is true. That is true. Alright, small fry. I've have, have heard. They can go on a chart information on this island. Okay, okay. Goodbye monetization. What do you mean? I just... Master 
Baiter. Just I'm a master at baiting. That's what it means. Oh, one thing. Okay, one thing I just thought of was um. Wait, what did he just say? Something about triumph, folks. Uh. What did he? I uh, I need to see what he said. I I skipped over it. No. I was right there, my young friend. On the island, you know, it's hard to show you where to find them. Of course, getting is the hard part. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Don't hear it again. You'll have to do some more bait on the water for me. Okay. I, I, I'll bait again. I'll bait again. I missed what you said. You're the bait master. <laughs> okay. Stop complaining. Yes. Have you heard of the the fable shed of Triumph Triumph Forks? What? What the heck is that? Well, it's right there, my young fry. On the island, you know, a chart show you where to find them. The Triumph Forks. The fabled set of Triumph Forks. What? Okay. I have no idea what that means. Anyways, um, okay, the trope I was thinking of was, uh, like how, how ever in every fight for a lot of, for a lot of anime fights, they just win by sheer willpower. Like basically whoever screams harder gets the dub. That's one thing I really don't like. There's like, there's like a balance you have to reach of like, not over explaining what's going on, but also explaining enough to where like, the result of the fight like makes sense and like the, the strategy of the person fighting. Like I think, for those that haven't seen like Hunter Hunter, I think Hunter Hunter has some of the most fun combat or like the most interesting combat of like any anime I've seen. It just, it, everything just like makes sense in a way. Like there is like some, you know, anime trope of like, yeah, just try harder. Like you just like willpower through it. But like so many of the fights in Hunter x Hunter are like, they're just thought out so well, which is what makes me really like love the fighting in that show in particular. I hate that I will tell you how my power works trope. Yeah, that one also sucks. That one sucks. It's 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 either like the the villain is so confident that they're they're just gonna tell tell the like the protagonist how their power works, or just like for no reason whatsoever. Like they just start explaining like how they how they can win basically. It's basically they explain their power and there's like, but but there's no way you can beat me. There's no way. And then they just like screw themselves over. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, I can't get on top of here, it looks like. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. <coughs> yeah, plot armor. I mean, that's not a... That's not a trope of just anime, that's just like... Specific, some shows in general. I think definitely, um... Yeah, just like, if a character, like, is about to die, like, just kill them off, like... It's, it's, it's the thing of, like, um... What is the trope? It's called, like, uh, Deus Ex Machina, is like... The... Someone gets saved at the very last second. That happens a lot in, like... It's just, like, it's not just the anime thing, it's just, it's just common in any, like show in general I feel like like someone gets saved at the very end um I think it can be done well depending like if you've already set up that someone is like coming to save you or something or like on their way to come to you um but if it's just like if it's if it's just completely out of left field then like and there's no reason for that person to be there then that that just that just irks me
We need a setting where our powers are more effective against people who know how they work. <coughs> the trope I hate the most is the MC who's denser than reinforced concrete. Yeah, it like... Uh, it depends on the character, I feel like. I don't know. Sometimes it's just really funny. And sometimes it's just really annoying. Okay, but we arrived at outset. Uh, have you noticed, loser? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle. The land that was so ravaged by monsters. As if time itself is frozen. Perhaps it's the curse that Valu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the parts overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown... Uh, Rep counter? And family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jabun after you do. Got it. Yeah, why is it raining so much? What is happening? Um. Get that they want to keep the characters alive, but writing around their deaths that they wrote to be imminent is just a cop out. Yeah, I think like you can you can tell a lot when a th a story is like thought out and like which characters are gonna live or not. And they're, they aren't, like, swayed by, like... I, I think a lot of... I, I think this is common... Yeah, this is definitely not just, just anime, but, like... I think for a lot of shows, like, if, if there's, like, a fan-favorite character... That, like, maybe they were planning on killing killing them off... But, and then they found out, like, everybody loves that character... Like, they the writer, like, decides to change their mind or something... Like, that's... Eh, I don't like that. I don't like that. And they like, they kind of write, change the writing in a way to like, try to make it make sense, but it doesn't, it's not the same as their original vision. <laughs> Kyogre. <coughs> I had a great writing, cr creative writing teacher telling me that they use Ex Machina works at the MC's making the Machina. It's like made me understand why uh, Avatar Last Airbender and Harry Potter endings work for me. It works if the MC is making the Machina. Yeah, I mean, that makes... That makes sense to me, because it's like... I mean, for, for that, like, you're, you're, you're working towards, like... As you, as you watch the show, you're, you're, you're seeing how they're developing, like, their, like, uh... Their saving grace, or yeah, that Machina, whatever. Like, their final weapon kind of thing. The thing that can, like take them out of that bad situation. So it, 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 it's very different, like in, you know, Last Airbend or whatever. It's very different. Because um, you see, like... Like, you know what he's capable of. Like, you know what Aang is capable of. But... You... Like, you know what he could be capable of? Like, his potential? And you see how he works towards, like... You know, controlling all the elements and Avatar State and all that, all that good stuff. So it's very different, I feel like. Because it's like, it's been developed. Um, public opinion kept Kakarot in power while his son's story died in its <coughs> infancy. I'll never forgive doing my boy Gohan dirty like that. Uh, I've not seen Yu Yu Hakusho, so I was... Uh, yeah. I've seen some of it, but I've not seen all of it. I've seen, like, maybe, like, ten episodes or something. So I have no idea. I don't even know who that character is. It's more like the main character is the Deus. Have you seen the Netflix a a a adaptation of uh, Last Airbender? Yeah, I've seen, like, four episodes of it. I talked about it at the beginning of stream, but... I think it's enjoyable. It's not... Amazing. I'd, I'd give it like a 5 or 6 out of 10. But yeah. Um. <coughs> okay, we're supposed to be finding Jabun. Jabun? I definitely. Aang is not. He's too peace loving. He's too peace loving. He's very, like, uh... He's a very optimistic... Like, a uh, Ignorantly optimistic view 
on a lot of things. I mean, he grows up, definitely, but... Yeah, in the beginning, definitely. Um... He has, like, this childlike... optimism to him. Oh, my favorite! My favorite enemies of all time. <laughs> Why are they so creepy? Don't know if it's a trope, but I hate power creeps. Uh, what's power creep again? I've heard that term, but is it like when, um... Uh... It's something to do with, like, power scaling or something. Right? I don't exactly remember what that meant again. Oh, it's this guy again. Oh, so close. If I could fly to the top of that hill, if only meet that rockhead, the try of... Oh, I nearly spoke aloud without thinking. It's a secret. Yes, quite a secret. Fry force? What is he talking about? Beneath the rockhead? What are you... Over there? There's a rockhead over there. What? The try force is in there? What is, he, what is he talking about? What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> Those people. <laughs> Those air nomads. Okay, I think I saw there was like a whirlpool over here. Yeah, I see the whirlpool. Uh, I think I need to bring... I need to get on the King of Red Lions. Check it out. Power keeps kind of like character goes from average Joe to a few episodes later killing a god. Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah. I definitely don't like that either. I don't like that. That's one reason I. That's what. That's one thing that bothered me about Jujutsu Kaisen season one. Um, that was pretty bad. <laughs> that was pretty bad. That's one thing- that's one thing that Hunter x Hunter does really well, I think. The way they, um... Progress. Uh... The main characters like powers. Hunter x Hunter did that really well. Really, really well. I feel like. Have you saved your sister in this yet? No. Isn't that the opposite of power creep? Not entirely. Let me look at it. Let me let me look let me look at the formal definition. What is probably power creep? Power creep meaning. Um refers to the gradual unbalance oh, this is talking about trading card game. <laughs> uh what does this mean? Power creep anime. Power creep is where characters' powers keep growing in leaps. Yeah. No, that, that was right. That was the right, the, the right definition. Um, characters becoming stronger and raise up the standard of the power in the story. Um, yeah, it's when they just like... become really strong out of nowhere. Yeah, okay, that's right, that's right, that's right. Oh, we saw this game design thing? It, it can be applied to, like, other things as well, I think. So, like, Rey in the Star Wars sequels? Basically. <laughs> I'm thinking of power creep in regards to gaming, then. I guess so. How, how does it work in gaming, power creep? Like... That's One Punch Man to a T. Yeah, okay, it's very different in One Punch Man, because, like, it just adds to the comedy. <laughs> he just did, like, a regular exercise work, exercise regimen, and he, become, he became a god. <laughs> this just makes it so funny. 
Oh, that's a thick boy. Oh, that's a thick boy. I can't pick him up. Okay. <laughs> He's too big. Or old car or old characters who are really strong get pushed down by newer characters who are stronger as a baseline. That kind of makes- that kind of works like the same definition. Like, uh... You introduce new characters, and they become way stronger than the old characters, and like, their old characters become irrelevant, basically. Yeah, One Punch Man is intentional, yeah, exactly. 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 As I do. What am I doing right now? I'm like not doing any- I haven't made any progress. Um... I feel like I'm supposed to go into the back of the island, like there was like a whirlpool back there. Like, I can't ride my dude. I can't ride- I can't, I can't get on him. What does he say? I cannot say when you will again have a chance to return to this island, young- Oh yeah, I gotta talk to my family. <laughs> I forgot. I'm supposed to talk to my family. <laughs> Bro, that's Ganon. The big, the big, the big pig. It's been a while since we've seen our grandma. It's been so long. There she is. My grandma. <gasps> is she sick? Oh, uh... Loser. Errol. Don't go. Don't leave. Oh. Don't leave your poor old grandma. All alone. Oh, dude. Dude, that's so sad. What the heck, man? She's having like a nightmare. Dude, what the heck, dude? Why is this so sad? Aww. She's got a picture of us. Ah, Grandma! No! No! I'm sorry. I'm home, but you weren't awake. Um... Okay, what do I do now? <laughs> I said hi to my grandpa. Okay, can we get on him now? I think we can. Looks like we can. No? Never mind. Are you ready? If that's the case, then we must search for the cave on the back side of... Outside, outside where J Jabun is said to hide. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> you abandoned your grandma, look what happened, I'll cut you. <laughs> it's so sad, man. Link is a monster for wanting to go save his sister and also the world. Yeah, he's a monster. He is. Grandma be like Justin in COVID. Okay, the whirlpool. Um, how do we... Uh... What do I do? Can I shoot the... BOOM! 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 It's so laggy! Oh, okay! We just gotta shoot it a bunch. I guess before we get sucked into the whirlpool. I guess. Geez, the range is kind of crazy. Okay, never mind. Ooh. 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 Yes. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Yes! Okay! Oh, the whirlpool's gone. Okay, nice. Very good. Time to see the Jabuns. Time to see Jabuns. I'm so excited. <coughs> mm. 
Oh! He's like an anglerfish, except way less creepy. Well met indeed, Jabon. I'm pleased to see that you are safe. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. <laughs> Look at Link, he's just like, what the heck are they saying? <laughs> what are they talking about? Unfortunately, that is not so. The one I brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do. It is the only way. Oh, there it is. That's the last one. You got Nehru's Pearl. The water spirit Jabun was kind enough to give you this jewel, a treasure of one of the goddesses. Oh, sick. It looks like a lantern and a whisk cash fused. I can see that. Um, Jabu Jabu's great great grandson. True, he does have a similar name to Jabu Jabu. They're, they're probably connected, honestly. Um, if you play through the game a second time, you can understand what he says. Oh, really? Cool. Is this Link's Awakening Fish? I have no idea. Uh, you mentioned you never beat this. How far did you get? Uh, I got to the end game, but there's a lot of stuff in between. I don't really remember. Um, because it's just been too long. Yeah. Like, I know a lot of what happens in the game, like the big narrative points. Um, but a lot of the, like, in between stuff, I don't really remember too much. Yeah, no dungeon required. It's cool that on the second playthrough that's translated. That's cool. Oh, la, 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 la. So that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. It was intended to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. Link must be so confused. <laughs> Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jabun gave us. So morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all the pearls. Are you ready, loser? I've marked the places where you must set the pearls on your sea chart. Okay. A fetch quest? Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jabon has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than, than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on Outset right now, so that you shall not have any regrets later. Um, what if I talk to my grandma again? Uh, Burp counter? Does she say anything new? Can I, like, can I, like, actually talk to my grandma? Uh, burp counter? Twice? I can save you a bunch of time. I saw my friend 100% of the game. Not worth. Yeah, I don't... I, I've heard this is not worth 100%ing. <laughs> Yo, Alex, thanks for watching, man. Have a good night, man. Okay. Does our grandma say anything else? Does she say anything else? Wake up, my grandma. I'm home. I'm home. Oh, she says she says the same thing. Okay. I'll be back home soon. I promise. I promise. Alright. 
Uh, we have to do some like what is it? We have to put pearls somewhere. Uh, something like that. Something like that. We set one pearl in each of the location mark. Okay. 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 Gotcha. 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 Okay. Um, on the map, there's three spots where we need to do this. Okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> Uh, northeast, yes. Do you need some medicine? Can I heal her right now? Can I help my grandma right now? I, I kind of want to know. Tell me. I would like to know. Can I actually help her right now? Or nah? Can you right now? No. Okay. You can heal her. Okay. Got it. Okay. I guess we'll do it later then. A fairy? Was she gonna die and re resurrect? Get resurrected? I didn't want spoilers on how I help her. Just if I could. I guess it got spoiled to me. Okay. Well. Yeah, I didn't want to know, man. I didn't want to know. Just don't do it again. I guess the fairy is out of the bottle. I guess so, huh? I guess so, huh? How sad, how sad. It's fine. I would have definitely found that out. I would have definitely figured it out. Knowing me. Good luck finding a fairy, though. Yeah, I've not seen, like, any fairies. What is this island? There's fire. I see fire. And that's a big, big boy tornado. We can get up this. Oh, it's another one of the Korok guys. Okay. Uh, what is this? What does it say? To reach Southern Fairy Island, head east from here. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I could find a fairy there at Southern Fairy Island, perhaps. Perhaps. Totally wouldn't forget grandma's dying alone in her house again. I'll, ne I'll never, I would never forget that. Um. Okay. The button, there's a switch. Uh, I think I have to activate all of these. I need some kind of like hammer to hit this down. Um. All right. No idea what this is. We'll come back probably. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Speaking of fairies, yep. I'm not gonna go there right now, but I just wanna. I just wanna. Oh! This is that dude. Yeah. Okay. Foolish creature who did not fear the gods to the end of the sea with you. Let the winds of Cyclops' wrath blow you away. No! No, get me out of here! Can I shoot him? Ah! Oh! No! Dang it. <laughs> Where am I now? Loser, are you alright? 
It would seem that the wind god cyclists bear some ill will toward humans. As you go forward, it would be wise to try not to get sucked up by any cyclones you see upon the seas. Uh, but only, if only we could find a way to harness the power of those cyclones, then it might be possible for us to travel across the ocean instantaneously. There's fast travel in this game? What? I can't get it yet, though, but okay. You not yet have an item that can pierce distant targets. If you did, you might be able to obtain such a power. Keep that in mind. Oh, so I just beat him up with arrows. And then we can use the power. <laughs> got it, got it, got it, got it. Well, there's a spot over here that I... I need to put the the pearl in. What a minute. Yo, Jeremiah, good night, man. Appreciate you watching. Fast travel spoiled by the king. Banned. Oh, this game's so pretty, dude. I just love how the ocean looks in this game. Yes, the music is back. No. Okay, never mind. We're good. Yes. Oh, we've been to this island. Yeah, this is um. Oh, this is where we're supposed to put the the pearls in. Okay. That makes sense. Right here. Hey, that's why it has the symbol on it. Okay. <laughs> What was that face? <laughs> Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses. Place the pearl you hold here. You place Faroer's pearl in the ancient statue's hands. Two pearls remain. Cool. Okay. Let's go to the other ones. Uh, we gotta go... North... West. Gotcha. He does have the best facial expressions. Can't deny that. Why do those things remind me of Reddit avatars? Kinda looks, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> A little Reddit, like, little, little Reddit mascot, dude. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. I need to see this list of anime tropes again. I need to see. Okay, this this list says uh generic self insert protagonist. Oh. Eh, I don't really care about that. Spending the day goofing off in pseudo filler episodes. What what do you mean? That's just character development. Shouting attack names. No, shouting attack names is, is hype. What do you mean? That's like the most hype thing about anime. <laughs> <coughs> what game are you playing during your COVID... During your COVID phase? Oh, uh, I didn't really play too much. I played like... I started playing Xenoblade Chronicles. But I haven't played it in a while. <laughs> I played like, like five hours of it or something. Like a Mary Sue. Uh, I guess so. Kind of like a Link kind of character. Or no, not not like not like a Link actually. Maybe like a like a Pokemon character. Like no personality, I guess. They're just like they're they're just there as like a um 
as a means for the the audience to interact with the the media i guess i don't know uh where is this one i'm like it's like somewhere here why is this cyclone here though um i don't see any islands here oh it's this one never mind i see it sounds like the beach episode for every anime ever <laughs> you know that's that's pretty accurate Depends on the context of the anime. If you're like at war or something, it makes no sense to just be relaxing randomly. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it does depend. Yeah, definitely for Slice of Life, it's like, it's, it's, this is what it's all about. Am I streaming only on YouTube? Yeah. Yes. Alright, here's our second one. I guess Link is a self-insert character. I mean, Miyamoto even named him Link as a link between the player and the character you play as. Yeah, yeah, I could, yeah, Link definitely... I can see that for sure. Uh, wandering travelers, he's the guy. Okay. There you go. There you go, bud. There you go, bud. <clears throat> All right. Din's pearl, cool. One pearl remains. All right. The beach episode trope is pure fan service. Yeah, I mean they're just putting like anime girls in bikinis. Pure fan service. For sure. Okay, next one is just south of here. <clears throat> I'm curious about these other ones that they mentioned. Uh... Teenagers who can save or change the world. Yeah, it's kind of true. <laughs> yeah, why is everyone that like... Why is like so many protagonists like... I mean, I understand because it's like shonen. Because like, yeah, I gotta relate to like the main character, I guess. Like, like age-wise, I suppose. I guess. I guess it kind of makes sense. I don't know. And they turn them into body pills that dudes legally marry. Yeah, that's that's some that's that's some crazy stuff. That's some crazy stuff. How far did you get in this game the first time you played it? I got into the end game, but I don't remember a lot of what happened. Pokemon has that problem big time. Yeah. Truck Coon is definitely a trope. Yeah, I mean for like Isaac guys and stuff. Oh, there's so many enemies here, what the heck? I'm going the wrong way. This way. This way. Okay. Um. Tar target demographic, so it checks out. Yeah. It does. Realistically, Ash will be dead within his first week. I mean, yeah, he got electrocuted by Pikachu in the very beginning. He should have died from that. Realistically. <laughs> Okay, another one, it says, the, the comic relief guy who might also be a pervert gamer slash gamer slash fool. Yeah, I guess so. Like a punching bag kind of character. That doesn't really have any much character development. Yeah, I, I can see that. Um, Sundere characters, yeah, okay. That's pretty typical. Ridiculous power scaling, yeah, we talked about that before. Expedited training sequence to maintain pacing. Yeah, that's like the power creep, I guess. They train like they they show the training and like they they progress like super quickly and stuff. Weak female characters. Uh, I don't think that's. I don't think that's really a trope. Um. Is that a trope? I feel like a lot of characters are pretty strong. Female characters. I mean, usually, like, the, the strongest dude is, like, a, a dude, but... I feel like, for the most, there's a lot of strong female characters. Comic relief guy is Justin. <laughs> Thank you. 
I get it, but it's so unrealistic it hurts. An average 10 year old does not have the survival skills to survive for long. Yeah, this is very true. Very, very true. Okay, I think that's the island we need to go to right there. Um, I was camping by that age. Good for you. But yeah, it's very different in an anime world. I'd say it was more so in the 90s anime. I could see that. I could see like in the modern era, like wanting to have more stronger female characters, which it does make sense. Um, okay, just don't mind me guys. Just put it in this pearl. <laughs> we placed Nero's pearl on the ancient sand sands. Okay. We've placed all the three pearls. Uh, what happens now? I actually have no idea what happens. <laughs> Get out of there, Link! Run! Oh, never mind. <laughs> you tune link is awesome. Oh! <laughs> oh, who's that? Who are you? <laughs> Dude, that's so <laughs> so funny. Sploosh! Da boom! <laughs> okay. Triforce, of course. It's always a triangle. It always is. That would be Nehru, Din, and Furor. Okay, that makes sense. What is this? What in the world? <laughs> Link is still flying. <laughs> He's such a cartoon character. Help me. Help me. What is this? I don't remember this. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> what the heck is this? This tower, which the pearls of the gods have caused to appear, is a place that the gods of the ancient world have prepared so that they might test the courage of men. Only one who is able to overcome the trials that await here will be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero. Only then will that hero be permitted to wield the power to destroy the great evil. Loser, that which you must obtain now lies before you. Is believe in your own courage, which has led you to triumph over the many hardships you have faced. You must triumph once again. You must rise above the trial of the gods. Okay. There's some kind of trial to prove that we're, like, the true hero. Um. I'm guessing this is a temple, then. Seems like a temple, because we didn't get- we didn't have a temple for the- the last pearl. So this has to be a temple. Or some kind of dungeon. Tower of the Gods. I don't remember this at all. Like, not in the slightest. Okay. Okay, seems like there's like a water... It's like a water-based puzzle kind of deal. Like, the water, like, goes up and down. So it seems like. Okay, hold on. Before I continue... Uh, let me save, because I have not saved in a very long time. Um... Oh, it's 12.30. Okay. Uh, this might be a good stop point for me to stop, actually. This is, like, a perfect spot, actually. Um... Yeah, okay, I'm done. I am done. Sky pillar? No, this is a sea pillar. <laughs> what if I don't want to be courageous? Yeah, this is definitely a dungeon. For sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. Okay, guys. Oh, good. My phone was about to die. Okay, hold on. Before I end stream, I want I want to... I want to read the rest of these, like, tropes that this website says. 
Is I just I'm just curious. Um Let's see. <laughs> what what is this? This literally says a fixation on opai, which is like a boob or like nipple in Japanese. <laughs> or refers to breasts. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. That's a good. That's an interesting way to, of saying it. There are a lot of uh, boob booba. There's a lot of booba in anime. Um, non-existent, absent, dead parents. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's pretty common. That's a common in a lot of media, though. Uh. Carrot? Okay, let's go get carrot, sure. Sure. Carrot is here! In the flesh. Looks like a OnePlus phone, because it is. You got a good eye, my good sir. It's the one plus seven T. <laughs> uh, emotional flashback before big moment. Yeah, I mean, that's not like a bad trope or anything. I don't think that's fine. Unless it's like, if it's excessive, then yeah, it's annoying, but it, it could build like tension too. Monologues for ex oh, this is a this is a big one. No parents that One Piece Naruto deep Dragon Ball Hunter x Hunter. Yeah, basically. Um, this is a big one. Yeah, mo monologues for exposition. That's that's a pretty big one for anime. Like they just like dump a bunch of just just a bunch of exposition on on the audience. That is, that is annoying. That's a good one, actually. That sucks. But honestly, yeah, that, that, I don't think, that, I don't think that's an, that's not like an anime exclusive thing. Like, I feel like a lot of shows can do that too. Like just regular shows. I think that's pretty normal for bad shows. <laughs> um, The one girl who obsesses over romance. Yeah, that's that's pretty common. That's kind of annoying. Yeah. I can see that. Oh, this is a, this is a, this one's just like the Deus Ex Machina one. Char character unlocks secret slash forgotten power just before defeat. Yeah, I mean that's just Deus, Deus Ex, Mach Ex Machina. But it can be good, it can be bad. It just depends how it's done, for sure. Okay. That's a pretty big one. I think that's probably one of the bigger ones. The Deus Ex Machina thing. Um, but I was just curious. I just wanted to see what else it, it said. Hate Expo Dumps. Respect my intellect and ability to drive this story, please. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why Soulsborne games are, are awesome. It's true. Okay, that is it for me. Um, tomorrow, well, I guess, I guess today, we're playing Slay the Princess, which is like a choose your own adventure, kind of like visual novel, kind of horror kind of game. It's like a shorter game, but, uh, I've heard good things about it. I wanted to like try it out. Should be fun. Um, it's pretty like new game. Should be a good time. Demon Slayer did that thing and I hate it. Yeah, Demon Slayer had a bunch of Deus Ex Machina moments. Um, Demon Slayer is just, just very mid, in my opinion. Yeah, slay that princess. Yes, we will. Um, but it should be fun. Uh, we're doing that and then... Yeah, we'll continue Wind Waker on Wednesday. Yeah. I want to slay a princess. Same. I don't know like anything about this game. The slay, slay the princess. 
Um, I know very little. <laughs> I just know you're just trying to kill her. And she, like, tries to, like, convince you not to or something. Something like that. Uh, but that's about it. I don't, I've not been spoiled on anything really in that game, so it should be fun. Um, hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Thank you guys for all the support for, like, uh, the members and everything. Jeez, everyone was so generous today. Um, but thank you for that. Hope you guys have a good night. Uh, when is it? Uh, it's tomorrow at... I think tomorrow's stream is one hour earlier than today's stream. So 7, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm pretty sure... Was it 7 p.m.? I think it was. Uh, let me re let me check real quick. Um, yeah, tomorrow is 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So an hour earlier than usual because uh, I want to be able to finish the game tomorrow. But... Congrats on surviving the COVID. Yeah. Uh, yes, I did not have it that bad. So I'm thankful for that. Uh, but yeah, it feels good to be back. It feels good to be streaming again. Um, I missed it. Honestly, I did. Um, it's just fun. It's just always a good time. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys tomorrow for those that make it. And yeah. Peace, guys. Have a good night. Peace.